Hi, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, damn. You're good. Welcome back to the Sneaky League Pod. <laughs> Hello. Hi, guys. I am SK's mama. I am Elena. And I'm Janelle. And today we are welcomed by another guest. Hey. Welcome, Trey. Thank Love you for coming y'all. on. Thanks for coming to see us. <laughs> Hello. Um, okay. So, let's get into what we're wearing real quick. Anybody want to go first? You want to go first since you're our guest? Yeah, uh, please. Yeah. Yes, just let us know what you're wearing into, today. Yeah. Uh, if you want, go ahead. <laughs> oh, yeah, get the jacket. Get Tell the jacket. Me. Get, get the whole fit. Yeah, let, let, yeah. let niggas know. Right? Okay, so Trey is a LA native who owns a well co-owns, correct? Yep. A um skate shop in Lamert Park called Neighbors. Yep. Which opened in twenty twenty, right? Uh it started twenty nineteen. Okay. Oh, yeah, cool. we we opened twenty twenty one. Okay, okay, okay. okay. Ooh, nice. Right. Oh, during the panty. Yeah. Oh uh, no, twenty twenty one. So like right kinda, after the kind of kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. That was okay. like coming out of I still don't yeah. know when it ends yeah when did so it? I still feel like, like everyone's getting covid again yeah, oh yeah, did yeah I just got it like 3 weeks ago see wow. my cousin just had it like 2 weeks ago I've known like a bunch of people who's been getting covid again oh look well I'm we stopped getting a check in 2021 so that, <laughs> that's that's when I feel <laughs> like it ended, ended. <laughs> so yeah okay so what do you have on let us know uh cdg dunks Nice. Those are nice. What are the socks? I peep that. I haven't been wearing sneakers for a minute now. Okay. Since Nothing wrong with that. 2020. We get bored. Oh, sometimes. Well, we appreciate it. Right? Yeah. We appreciate us. you. It was a nice choice. Yeah. Really. Yeah, it was. What kind I of saw the socks are these? Betty, Betty Boop joints that you had. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, they do. Oh, oh they do. The, like, yeah. the friends and family. Yeah. F and F. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are cool. Nice. Yeah, Ben Davis, Vintage Blazer. I like the pen. Nice. Yeah. I like the watch. Thank you. It's yeah. the homies oh. uh, brand, Larvey. He's okay. Like the, uh, he used to be a engineer for like Botch and Rolls Royce. Okay. Oh, wow. Cool. Like Twenty two nice. years old. Uh, Chinese kid. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He made his own company. That's fire. Send me a watch through DM. Shout oh, out nice. to him. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Wanna go next, Tim? Um, go down the row. Um, um, just some Air Force. Just, right, um, They're a little dirty, but like, you know, at least boys. That's what the kids say, at least. <laughs> <Jeez>. Big buckles. <laughs> Big buckles. <laughs> Big buckles. Those are hard. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I have literally beat these guys, and they're still in pretty good condition for me to, like, yeah. do the things I've done in these. They're not white girl beats. So. Yeah, they're not no. white girl beats. But, you know, shout outs to premium, you know, leather when they Ooh, actually do it. You, so, you were right about yeah. that. You know, shout outs to. Well, the leather's different. Nice. Yeah, it's, it's way different because I have beat these. <laughs> But yeah. Your button up's cute. Oh, diesel, you know. Yeah. I like diesel. Menswear on sale. <laughs> <laughs> we only do sales. Menswear. But yeah. On sale. Um, okay, I got on some Jordan nines. I like Jordan those a Packers. lot, actually. I know, I like those a yes. lot. One of the only these. nines I actually really like. Actually, enjoy. I've been outside of the in a really, really long time, and like I kind of noticed like they're looking a little like yellowy. But, but I love yeah. that. Yeah. I love the age. Yeah. The nice age. I even know. like how like the gold plate, like kind yes. of, you know, age. When so I, nice. like, you know who I remember, like, um, Kixology when yeah the, when she put these the gold are, on are, her shoelaces these, she did these like, remind me of her too she yeah. put gold um, laces she put like gold nail polish on the shoelaces like specs oh and I always remember that about those cause I was like, it looks so was it good it looked like crackle crackle nail polish. it looked like crackle <laughs> and it was like it was, like, it was like so it was like gold specs throughout like when okay. she it was like bomb like I always think about oh, that's that really but cool. yeah I got these that's a good era yeah yeah that was when Jordan was doing some really cool stuff. We were gonna. She said to wear something sentimental today because mm-hmm, so. we're gonna. I get didn't get the memo later. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. She did. She I just didn't. didn't look in her text messages mm-hmm. as usual. <laughs> um, and today I have on. What is this? Twenty twenty two. Where's this twenty three? Damn, they make them so much. Twenty twenty two Cardinal Sevens, um, because like these are sentimental to me. Yeah, I'm the first time wearing them. <laughs> Why are they sentimental? Okay. We'll get into that later. Uh, okay. oh, oh, we're going to wait. Okay, we have a nice story. Can't wait to hear this. Um, and then I also want to rep my man. Okay, I, I, was I was keeping it. I was keeping it. My man. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, From the West Side, would love to. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see what we're doing here. <laughs> I see what we're doing here. Uh, That's why it. she looked at me Man. crazy. 
Uh, Janelle, aren't you in a relationship? <laughs> he knows. Aren't you in an okay. actual relationship? He knows. Is that your past? Like, does Shay does has, like, does Shay aren't you in an actual relationship? Met Dom before and was like offered him for like a tattoo and stuff like that. And I, was I thought like, he was going to say that. And I was like, you. did you tell him? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I literally was texting him. I was like, did you tell him that I love him though? And he was like, I'm not about to tell another man that you love him. My girlfriend's actually mm. in love right? with him. <laughs> Shout out to Mert. Yeah. Lamar Park, Park forever. Mm-hmm. For sure. See, I came correct today. Yeah. That's what's up. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> he was mine first. I'm done. Anyway. You don't have the OPM ring, though. I don't, because that shit's expensive. <laughs> the mm-hmm. fuck? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I, I don't have it either, getting but, tatted, though. you know, I just, I just be talking shit. I thought about getting it tatted. <laughs> I, like, back in the day, I really, I really wanted to get the I Love Dom tat, because the oh, song, yeah. back in the day, I was like, I want the I Love Dom tat. <laughs> or, like, yeah. the flag, like, the OPM flag. Like, I thought about getting it somewhere. I just want the ring, because I think That's it's kind of crazy. Cute. It's kind of cute. Yeah. Okay. The ring is fire. It's like, the ring? Yeah. 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 yeah, it's really cool. Oh, it's a really cool piece. Mm-hmm. It's like nine thousand dollars or something like that, though. Yeah, I had that's out, cap, fresh. but yeah, no one. Yeah, 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 I'm not that. But anyways, I would love to have it though. <laughs> I can just make my own and just say it's OPM. Mm-hmm. I want him to give it to me though, so yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he'll propose to me with it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Anyways, uh, how's everyone's week been? Um, it's been fun and exciting. I'm currently in Tokyo. <laughs> That's fire. <laughs> That's so fire. Yes, she is. You see she's this? Not I'm here, in Tokyo. I'm, she's not I should here. be in Osaka right now. <laughs> <laughs> On the other side of Japan, actually. That's tight. Yeah. Trey, how was your week, though? It was fun. It was cool. Just being creative and shit. You know, That's nice. Every nice. day, trying to do something. Change the world. Oh. Yeah. I was really positive. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> we need those kind of vibes. Right. Yeah, we need shit. that energy. <laughs> yeah. Have you picked up anything new? Uh, Like sneaker wise? Sneakers or Sheesh. even apparel. Sheesh. Yeah. Anything. Like, yeah. Because I know you said like you don't normally, you don't wear sneakers very often like right anymore. Now. So yeah. Like, yeah. Um, my girlfriend got me some Gucci loafers for my birthday. Oh, that was sweet. Was cool. so oh. Happy belated. Yeah. yeah. Nice. That was pretty dope. That's dope. But yeah, I've been wearing loafers and like dress shoes and stuff. Loafers like, are really the vibe. Yeah, yeah it really is. Really comfortable. Yeah. You always. Yeah. yeah, you know me. I stand some loafers. Up in the loafers. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't worn any yet, but maybe next episode. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, we're going to get into our um, sneaker news then? Yeah. Because we didn't cop anything. So. Yeah, no drop. I mean, mm-hmm. what would have dropped? I don't even know. While we're recording this, it would technically be this weekend because mm-hmm. so would it have so technically the twos came out oh, those Saturday oh, yeah. the those nine twos that you're talking about which They're I really want cute. which I'm sure they are coming up in that's yeah. what all the websites have saying. Do you plan on getting them? I am gonna get them. Okay. They reached out to me and was like, "Yo, just let me know when they're coming out, and I got you." And I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, the big one." I was gonna say he don't like to be put on blast. <laughs> I was like, "Oh shit, edit that out, actually." <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be like, "What the fuck?" He uh, will. Yeah. He will. No he one's probably gonna know who you're. We talking can just about. beep it out. We can be like <laughs> yeah, beep, yeah. beep it out, beep mm-hmm. it out, please. That'll be yeah. so. Good. But yeah, he didn't even know they were coming out. I'm like, "Sir, you run a store." <laughs> oh, I'm gonna tell him to hold my size then. Yeah, because please do. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. those are cute. Okay, twos. I mean, that's the point of it, though. Like, none of us should be paying for anything, right? We're, like, moving the culture. Right. Like, uh, keeping it 100% going. agree. Right. 100% agree. And men get mad at that. Oh, my God. Um, so. You got to do a little footwork then. It's <laughs> plain the work. Like. Right. Um, so, these terror squad, uh, Air Force One, someone else asked us to talk about this, like, in a different episode. Okay. Let's and stuff like that, that, too. But, um. Terror I've squad, heard Air Force One. Yeah. 20 years late. Yeah, that's right. what I was about. <laughs> right. I was really about to ask. Right. Like, 20 years people late. were talking about it on Twitter and stuff like that, too. So, like, I guess we do all agree then. Like, this is coming really late. <laughs> it this is. is extremely I late. I guess yeah. better late than never. I'm sure. Okay. I'm not for sure, but how many colorways in this shit? Came I was going to say three. Because, yeah. I've seen three colorways. One. And I know there I has know to there be like a special white. one that's only there's for like a, the upper echelon. There's like a baby blue ish yes, one. This one right and a white here. one? I think there's, there's like a white, all white on black. Are they all blue. just like. Yeah. Did they all release at the same time? Or. I don't know. I think this one might be. Uh, this blue one might be a, a GR. Okay. Purpose? Is that per poise or purpose? <laughs> Her 150 is crazy. Purpose? I'm sorry. 150. <laughs> That's a lot. In 2003, they had like Air Force One was probably 74.99. Yeah. Right? yeah, yeah, for sure. 
Because before oh, 2020, they were still under $100. Yeah, 150 I mean, but everything's 150 now. August 19th. Oh, so they've already came out. So this blue one already came out? I think out? they came out at different times because uh, it's, okay. like, different release dates. It has to be. Because this black one. Because they just started doing promo with that blue pair. Yeah. I mean, let's. Let's be real though. Like, who are they marketing this to? Okay, Niggas in New York. We, okay, we said this in that that one episode where the guy was dragging us, and they were like, mm-hmm. "You don't know what you're talking about," because we literally said, "Like Nike, who are you marketing some of these things to? Like, you're yeah. just putting product out mm-hmm. with like no real like." not really understanding the audience. And like mm-hmm. you had mentioned earlier, like the disconnect between like certain people in general regions where it's like, you don't know what you're like, who you're marketing right. yeah. to and who your audience is. Yeah. I mean, I, I listened to, I used to listen to Fat Joe and all that, but I couldn't tell you like two members outside of him. Me yeah. either. Yeah. Like with Rod Digger or something. Mm-hmm. I, I couldn't tell Rod Digger, that was Buster <laughs> Rod. <Ryan. laughs> they had Remy Ma. Yeah, Remy Ma. Remy Ma, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm just saying, like, this is like no, I, no, I hear you. This is every bit of 2003. They they should have dropped when Lean Back dropped. Lean like, exactly. yeah. That's what I have in my head right now. Yeah. I mean, I, honestly, when he was like licking shoes and shit. That's what yeah. we were talking about. We literally just said that. That's when he could have got it. That would have been. I mean, but it was friends and family the whole time, right? Like, his crew had the best back then. Yeah, yes. So, like, over here licking shoes. Not bad. People like the mayor. Yeah. 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 People like the mayor and things like that, yeah. like had had access to those things. Yeah, so is it just fine. these two colors then, the black and the? I guess so. Blue? Mm, I, I remember when I was like younger and I saw him like lick those shoes <laughs> on the yeah. MTV cribs. I, I thought he was going to eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even lying. Like it was something in me that was just like, yo, like you might eat this shoe. Like you're real hungry. Just put it on a plate with a fork. Oh, Shout out to Up NYC yeah. though. This I fuck with Up NYC. Different. Is that okay. this is like a probably a, this probably is like a special Fat Joe one. What is it like a linen? Because like it looks like it. Yeah, and pink like and a like um uh Neapolitan. It looks like a linen. yeah. I think it's I think it's <laughs> this is the East Coast demographic. Oh, one hundred percent for sure. This is for them. All the marketing has been in New York. All the people who I have been in it have been out of New York. So, mm-hmm. like, 100%. That was the same with the Tiana Taylor Jordan, though. I yeah, feel like only niggas in Harlem cop. I've seen Like, if we're going to be all honest. Out like, here. Huh? Where, I've seen nobody out here. Yeah, nobody cares about that. wasn't a girl shoe? No, it wasn't a women's shoe. Yeah, but I feel like only people in Harlem. Was it, were a, was it a women's though, or was, was it? I don't think it was a women's. Oh, at least. It, like a, ooh, that's a great question. I don't know I if it was women's or not. I've seen I dudes. Mean, I've seen men in them. Wayne, yeah, yeah. Little Wayne wear his pair. He just left it in the. I don't know. Thing. Doesn't it cap out mm-hmm. at thirteen in women? I mean, depending uh, on they do. The it's usually a twelve in women. I mean, obviously, your man had a pair. Who else did she gifted a few people a pair? Yeah. Hmm. We're not going to do yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> we're not going to do this. Yeah, I don't know that much about Terror her squad. shoe either. Yeah. Dang, squad, I wish Force like we were squad. even, we had the pod <laughs> when those when shoes that ha- came Oh, my out. God. That literally was the time where we were like, we need to get this I know, going. yeah. We were like, we what the fuck are we doing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Sad. <laughs> but, yeah, we're not going down that, that road right now. Um, well, Joe Fresh Goods is doing another collab with um, New Shout Balance. Shout out to Joe. Shout yeah. out to Chicago. Yeah, he's doing his thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, these ones are only limited to 500 pairs, and they're hand-numbered. Oh. There yeah. you go. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that should be cool. There they, they you go. Like? They're, they're, they're like, like all white. I, they look, it's, it's ALD had used that silhouette. Yeah. Right? I think yes. so. Yeah. Um, but it's like a, a high-top like, new balance. Like yeah. Balance. Yeah. yeah. ALD's used that. New balance is giving the bag out. Mm-hmm. They are. I'm not mad. They are. But... See, I think they know their really audience cool. a little bit. I like the more right the now. contrast and materials yeah. and stuff. But Joe has always gotten it. The I will give him that. Nice. I don't think I've seen one bad shoe from him. Joe is pretty. I mean, he's always had like a nice, you know, just style in general, yeah. and he gets but it. But he's also so. tapped in. He, as very well. much. That's very yeah, much. Very much. Yeah. Yeah, those are cool. Yeah. Dang, five hundred. I'm pairs. not crazy about the other stuff, but these are like these yeah. are my taste. Mm-hmm. Oh, the other ones too, like. Flashy yeah, and stuff. Yeah, just like a little too loud. Okay. I fuck with his style, but it's like I wouldn't wear a lot of the stuff that yeah. he right, wears. Right, right, right. I know I still haven't worn my one pair. I think it's like that, like, um, greeny with the pink. Like, it's not like a bright green. It's like. The New Balance? I think yeah. I have those. Oh, you talking about those baby yeah. blue ones in the pink? Yeah. Yes. I, okay. I wore them once. Even though I like them a lot, but they're so big on yeah, foot. Yeah, that's why I'm mm-hmm. like, I, I still haven't worn them. I felt mine. like I had like a 
dinosaur food with them on it. Oh, I have with baby the food. On the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, it like sticks out yeah. like that. Yeah. Little, yeah, I have like two pairs of his bands though, and I like those. The a Converse lot. Were, were dope. Yeah. The Chucks. Oh yeah, the, oh, yeah. yeah. The sh- the I like the apparel too. better from the Converse than the shoes, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah his the, his like, apparel's always good too. Like mm-hmm. all that. I wonder if he's gonna have like anything. It's only dropping in Chicago, of course. Of course. I mean that's how it is. He has a really cool store in, in Chicago, nice. too. Like, because they had shut down Fat Tiger Works, and then he just opened oh, yeah, something else. I forgot about that. But, like, what's cool about his store is that, like, it's kind of like, I think Onward is the same thing out here. It's mm-hmm. like, you open it when you open it type shit. Like, mm-hmm. we hear when we hear, and kinda you can like come Berks fuck and, with us when you want to. Brooks and Woods, too. Is, mm-hmm. Does Brooks and Woods do that? Um, I've heard that. I don't like know him, half so. Of, like, like, half of the time, it's, like, appointment only type of thing, or, like, office. Oh, okay. okay. And then the other half is, like, the other half of the week is, like, an actual store store. I didn't like yeah. his New Balance. I'm gonna be real. So I thought they were kind of ugly. I mean, it's kind of. I know. Same I kind of forgot what they look like. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah sort, sort of. Yeah. Mm, what I do they look the like? Again? They weren't rememberable. There's no. Sh- it's no I, shade. I, 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 I have the yeah. New Balance yeah. 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 for two yeah. months. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get the shoes. Yeah, it felt like it was one of those things. Like he didn't pick that silhouette. It was like you're gonna get this, or you're not gonna get nothing. We see that a lot. A lot of companies do that. Oh yeah. Yeah. They mm-hmm. use you to try to make it cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we talked else. about that with the uh, the unions. Yeah, the yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not, that, yeah the union is a perfect with example. The, the other, the other but, yeah. Um, yeah, the Buffy's uh, ones with that elevate. Yeah, the elevate, they're like, yeah. you're gonna use this one gonna though. This one yeah, with, mm-hmm. with the NASA like like ankle part on it. I think that was the that was the seven. Oh yeah, oh, that was yeah, the was seven. seven. Yeah, it was a women's line. Yeah, that was, yeah. The yeah, the she seven. Those. I feel like they were okay, yeah. but the retail on it was not not it. How much like were they? Or something? They were like two hundred dollars. And shit. I feel like for a shoe like that, don't get it fucked up. Like I understood like what it was rooted in, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it definitely had like the union union aesthetic to it. Like you could feel it and see it. Yeah, but. For what they cost in this economy, for what everything else is dropping at the same time, mm. it's not something that's going to be sought after, and it's no shade. Yeah, yeah. No, that's it, true. it doesn't stand like in good competition with so many other things that are dropping. Mm-hmm. I think it like caters to a niche community, and yeah, that's facts. that's what it is. Yeah, because I honestly forgot about it until you just. I really like yeah. the apparel better than the shoe. To be yeah, honest, the there was a was lot really of cool cute. apparel in that. There was. I remember. When I was in Tokyo at this time and last year, and they had just stopped. <laughs> and they, I remember looking at the apparel because, like, they were, it was all out at there. Mm-hmm. And I was, it was cute. But I think, I think Beffy's cool. I like her style. Yeah. Like, I think she's fly as fuck. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Regardless. I agreed. Same. Speaking <laughs> of a new uh, silhouette, uh, like, leaked pictures, not leaked pictures, but like, teased pictures of these new Travis Scott. Um. Uh, wow, wow. Shark, sharkadons, sharkadons. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm saying that right. Shark- I just want to know who was in charge. <laughs> Taken from like the spirit on Tracy Scott and stuff. Um, Tracy. <laughs> I think this is like another, like we were just saying about them yeah, giving new silhouettes. For this to be a Jordan have Nike DNA is crazy to me though. Like I get it, they're the oh, same yeah, brand. Yeah, you were saying but that like that's Jordan crazy. And not a Nike. That's um, a spirit on, period. Like yeah. the bottom of that is completely right, yeah, that shoe. Exactly. Like has he trademarked exactly this mocha colorway? Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah, what the yeah. Hell? yeah, the mocha like is, is really like, a thing. Yeah. I have the stash um joints like that. Oh the oh, spirit okay. on. Okay, 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 okay. okay, okay yeah. Yeah. The soul is the same exactly. It's the exact mm-hmm. same thing. Oh yes, it's inspired by the Nike Zoom spirit. Yeah. I had the OG color on, like we said, when we went to the yeah, Kobe yeah. thing. Yeah. Kobe thing, yeah. I mean, do you think he's, like, honestly just touching random Nikes? Just, That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like at this point, because this just feels random. Like, did I just, did Travis Scott really in his heart say, I want to put out this shoe? I want to put out this one. He still had to Did they give it to him agree. and said, here, you're doing this, yeah. you know? But who came and up with he it? He just collected. I mean, do you think he, like, comes off as, like, a sneaker? No, he is. Like I He's think more he tapped does. in than a lot of other I, celebrities. Is he tapped in or is it? Not ta- like I don't want to say like tapped in now as much because I his, think his celebrity is different. Yeah. yeah, I don't think he just came in like blinded and not yeah. knowing shit. Yeah, I do I think he has like some organic yeah. like roots to him. Mm-hmm. But 
I think this has now just turned into like a capitalist type of like, yeah, what, what, what can we do? Like, yeah. it's not, it's not fun. It's not like exciting. Yeah. It's, as much as it was when he was doing just right, the ones yeah. right. Like the, I right. mean, the six the first, and, like shoes were just hitting. Like, they oh were, yeah, I mean, we were. Oh, it was during your birthday. It was. <laughs> it was me I know. Every time. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> So we, we got invited to a, a Jordan brand event at the Jumpman store in downtown. And it was during, during Grammys? February. It was during <laughs> February. My birthday. Yeah. Yeah. It was during the Grammys? Or Wait a minute. Something? Was I around? No, you they been. all got the Jordan one from there. Everybody so they shot, they shot the one I worked? It. No, it. no, it was it was like a game night that they just yeah, had, and it was during the Grammys random. or some. I think it was they Grammys. Just opened, what twenty something. The Jordan before the, the, the before the wow. panty. What because shoe drop? A, because it's a no, we're talking about the mocha one. It, it was, was a foot act. It's a foot oh. action. No, the, and then they yeah. But are you talking about Jordan. the mocha one though? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I get. I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah. I worked an event that night for another um, like activation for Jordan oh, at that store. Okay, okay. But that was the day they came out. Do you see what I'm saying? No, we, it came out it after. It came out before. We got oh, it early. Yeah. Oh, so this is an early release. Yeah, this I'm is talking about the, no, the date that it launched. No, 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 no. The shoe no, no, came no. out after you guys got it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we were the, one of the first few people to get them okay got it like that got yeah. it say less yeah. okay. they all went home with a pair <laughs> that's they why they were acting small so funny sizes, that it did okay they weren't yeah the okay. smallest size were like a size eight in men's shit well you couldn't get your size you no the they smallest. didn't have my size i still bought my yeah, size but they, like, i guess they one. came out well not my size but i bought a pair that night i saw the, you that night too that's why i was confused the mochas yeah i bought a, a 10 Oh yeah, yeah, I bought like a Needless size twelve. To say, I don't have that ten anymore. Yeah, but, yeah, because they didn't come out in small sizes in and the in US. US. Yeah, in the UK they did, and they did. Yeah, yes, because I was working at SNS at that time, and this yeah. is before the barter laws happened, and I was able to enter the raffle mm. for the size UK for shit, you. and they sent them to us. But then right after that mm. happened, Nike made that like rule with like overseas shit, yeah. and now you can't buy shit. Mm-mm. It's stupid. so trash, oh, wow. annoying. It's stupid. Mm. Why do you think they did that? Because they hate or something. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just to keep things, certain things exclusive. That's what right. I think. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. That's mm. bullshit. Um, Anyways. That's all bullshit. Um, yeah. yeah it's like, <laughs> that's facts. What else is, um, what else um, do you have was coming out? Um, or news? I think, I don't know about any more in shoes, but this was, Probably now by this episode time this episode comes out it's been like a week or whatever but the Heron Preston and H and M are you taking over? Cre- is he the creative director? Yeah, like I think that's mentor? just like for a check to be honest. Yeah. He's creative directing or is he just doing like the Black Friday? I know he's stuff. doing like he's. I creative. think yeah, I think, I think it's like to be a creative director. Yeah, for H&M. I really want to oh, say for like the they, they still do that around Black Friday when they grab a design. That's a great question because I haven't seen <laughs> that in a while actually. Hmm. Well, since like at least two or three years. Last one was it uh Moogler? Was, was it Moogler? The first one was the Versace. Oh, with, shit. that one was yeah, the craziest one. Yeah, craziest yeah. One. I think it was Moogler, the last one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that sounds about right. It's just not a thing to do no more. So. Yeah, does it say what he's gonna be? They said creative director, so yeah, I'm assuming when you hear a person entering into a long, deep term collaboration. Oh, uh, so. Not oh creative God, that's gonna well, suck. it says like his because he did have like the partner, the H and partnership. But oh, okay, but now it's more a two point oh <laughs> collab two uh, like, But see, it's like like I don't even know too much about him H2. when I was working at C- Zen, Creative Menswear Advisor. Y'all carried that? Yeah, they had. It was like the most expensive shit ever. I was like, why are we carrying? Wow, that's this probably shit? their highest brand. Yeah, ever. yeah, it, it was really expensive. Well, the thing is, hair and Preston like apparel at least hasn't been cool since at least two thousand and nineteen. Because I remember I used to have. Hella yeah, hair and press oh, and shit. Really I'm not even gonna lie to you. That's, his, that's when he was the wave, right? Yeah, that's when he was cool. He was cool or whatever. It's when he. I don't know if y'all remember the Nikes. I still have both of his shoes. He had two Harachis. He had dropped yeah. a Nike. There were a white pair and a black pair. Still have them. Um, I wouldn't know that. Yeah, he did because 
I feel like he was like a niche thing too. It was like for the niggas who like were still wearing off white and like be, yeah. things like that. Yeah. Like Definitely. they were fucking like, with all, it. There was a lot of girls in the club wearing hair and pressing. And That's shit. where I'm getting to though. Yeah. So like you know when <laughs> this is the same shit as when like Carl Kanai or Fubu will drop a like. Um, collection with like Pretty Little Thing or some shit. Yeah. Oh. This is about to be that. Yeah. Also, like that's corny. Yeah. So like now, when you see everybody ah. with the hair and Preston shit on, it's just gonna like devalue the okay. actual brand, okay. which I think he already knows that shit's out the window. Because let's think about it: a lot of streetwear brands don't really stick around that long, and yeah. I think the people who create these know this, you know. Yeah. So yeah, he's just gonna make affordable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's just gonna that cut his check. So much sense. Right. Creative men's work. He's like just gonna get his money. God, in Pakistan. That to unveil his debut forty piece collection next year. So it's just kind of wild that like they actually use people now to get on the front of a brand. Yeah. yeah. They actually like promote a creative director. Yeah, that's really true. That's a thing now, for sure. Yeah, it's really a thing. It's a thing now. I don't remember who was a creative director for anything. Like H&M right. at that. Like, <laughs> right. like H&M is just yeah. It's celebrity designers now. Yeah. Like when we think yeah. about it. When we think exactly. about designers, it's all about being a celebrity, then a designer. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. That's why I can appreciate somebody we really don't see in the, the forefront sometimes, like Cynthia Lou from CPFM. Like, are mm. we really, if you don't really be in that crowd or like are around that, you, I don't know what that bitch look like. Like, I really don't. <laughs> I know she Asian. Yeah. That's all I know. Like, I could not tell you what that woman looked like. I mean, these companies kind of just know that they want, like, a, a connection to people. Right. They want to, like, go to the source, and they feel like if people are fans of these people. Right. They yeah. They on top of here. That's why the Travis right. Scott Nike stuff is a thing. Yeah. There's so many fans of his music. Mm -hmm. They connected through shoes. For That's sure. true. Yeah. Does, do niggas fuck with hair and pressing like that still? Like, I, look, I don't know the man, so. Yeah. Worn, yeah. <laughs> I've never worn him either. I mean, I know, like, I liked this shit back then because, like, he catered to women in a way where, like, you know, they like to wear something tight, mm -hmm. show off your curves, you feel me? Like, my ass looked fat in this, whatever. Honey, the club, the but club like, shit was cute. But it was cute. But, like, this is, like, 2018, 19, though. And then after that wave hit, it was, like, all right, it's corny. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It was, like, the orange type of thing. Yeah. 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 But I'm pretty sure they're going to drop hella, like, Hair and Preston, like, bands oh, on their sure. like, <laughs> They're, like, leggings and, like, sports uh, bra. Yeah. yeah. Because it's going to be so really corny. Yeah. A lo like, a logo, you know? I do. Oh, they do. Like, they love, like, a loud logo. Like, the Gucci all over. Yeah. The LV all over. Yeah. The, the name. They want it like to, be, like, there are, you know, certain people that want it to be known what, what they're wearing. Exactly. They want you to know. Yeah. I just like to see when a creative director can make something that people were fucking with him before, like his actual brand, mm. and then these new people who it's like, you know, more affordable still fuck with it. I think the only person who's ever been able to do that and execute it well was Jerry Lorenzo when he did Essentials. Oh, yeah. Because when we think mm. about when we think about the yeah. people who were buying into Fear of God before mm -hmm. he even got the deal at PacSun, mm -hmm. those same people were Man. buying Essentials that because I remember when Essentials would drop, that shit would sell out at Pack yeah. Time. Oh yeah, and it would resell. Oh my god, yeah. this is when I was working at Mag too. Like we were reselling that stuff. So much just like all from the boys, all, the, all the boys were going to Pack Sun and like buying shit in bulk. Like I've seen tons of videos of like uh, midnight like releases mm -hmm. type yeah. shit, and then like breaking the barriers at Pack Sun and like really like. Oh my God, Jerry boys, fucking crazy, <laughs> Jerry, Jerry boys. boys. That was a fucking. He time. doesn't have that momentum anymore, but mm -hmm. it was definitely a time. Yeah, oh yeah, Those, oh hundred percent, hundred percent. Did you go to that? The, the I didn't go. I watched, but yeah. yeah. I got oh yeah, I seen a bunch of people went to that yeah. shit. Yeah. Oh, at the Hollywood Bowl. Yeah, yeah. like oh, a bunch yeah. of people. Sampa was performing. I thought that was cool. Yeah. I was like, damn, that's fire. Wish I would have went just for that and yeah. left. Yeah, and left. Then left. Like, okay, that was good. What was it though? It was like a fa was, was it a, a fashion, was it a fashion, fashion show? show? It was a fashion yeah. show. Oh, okay. I it think Pusha T too. came out too. Yeah, there was like yeah, a there was a shit oh, ton okay, of people there. there. Yeah, like, all okay. of LA was there. Like literally yeah. all of LA. Oh, okay. There were so cool, many people. I, was, people I, there. I, yeah, I wasn't there. Literally, my entire timeline was. I was like, I got to see the show from here. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody I know is there. Beyonce. I feel like. Everyone's been posting about it, so I, I didn't really need that. to go. Because I, I didn't go. And I'm you know how excited like, I am to, to fly to Houston when I get back from Tokyo to go see her on the 24th? Is that her last show? No. Kansas City, I believe, is her last show. But she's That's from, a stupid place to have a last show. <laughs> she should have done it in Houston. Like, why don't you do it in your hometown? Like, girl, right? Kansas City? Kansas City. So I, I was tempted for you. 
<laughs> Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. I don't talk about that. Um, what's next? <laughs> yes. What's next? <laughs> I was like, who's reading it? <laughs> Tremaine. Oh from yeah. Let's Supreme talk about this. resigning. Yeah, I might not close enough to the mic. Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah. Heavy he, topic. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's been a big topic. Yeah, I had sent the girls some like TikToks I had seen people touching. Having a lot of topic. different opinions. Yeah, I've seen a lot of different things and I'm you know. I feel like I'm not a member of the black community, so my opinion <laughs> is limited. <laughs> and I didn't even understand what was but happening. Like in that perspective yeah. of like the whole, what other people talk about, and I was like, you know, I see points are made, but I feel like my opinion is not too, too much needed in this area. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I understood. I thought like what he did and why he did it, well, from what he said via IG, I was mm-hmm. like, okay, yeah. Yeah. That. Can you explain yeah. what happened? Then? I feel like you can better. But yeah, so, like, for people who don't yeah, know. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Um, he was doing a collab with Arthur Jaffa. Yes. Mm-hmm. And um, like his art is very touchy. Mm-hmm. Like black diaspora and mm-hmm. all that stuff. And I really don't know the graphics. I didn't see anything. Like I saw their conversation with James. Mm-hmm. And it was just like back and forth. Like I guess they knew what the graphics were. Mm-hmm. And what really made Tremaine like upset was that they kind of just like canceled that project and didn't tell him. Oh, like he found out later okay. That they were like, yo, like we don't want you to do this and all this other stuff. And I heard there's like maybe like 150 plus people that work in the background of Supreme. There's probably like two people that are black. Oh wow. yeah. The, so it's just like a lot serious? of yeah, it's I did. That's the part I read. That, on that, well, on that TikTok I sent you, the guy was like, he, you know, he said like, it's like 10% of the company is, you know, which black, is which crazy. Is small. Wow. Yeah, it's not a lot of people. Which is, I, mean, I have no idea. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm not surprised, like but that. that is still crazy, though. Yeah, right. Yeah. But I'm more so tripping on, like, the fact that, I mean, y'all hired him. Yeah. 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 He's doing, yeah. I mean, he has a cotton reefs on his jeans. He's doing that with Levi's. Right. So it's just oh, kind of wow. like, if you're going to, I don't see, like, I never thought it's Supreme as, like, limiting anybody's creativity. Right. Like, Supreme mm. does everything. Like, they right. did that piss Christ back in, like, 20... Yeah. 19. They did a fucking brick. I, I like, mean, from... <laughs> a crucifix dipped in piss and then took a picture. Like, that's... So, way On that yeah. TikTok, though, so that I had sent, it, the people were saying that, like, the imagery that they were trying to put on a shirt was, like, images of, like, hang, like slaves hanging, like... Yeah. Being lynched and stuff. Yeah. Mm. And... I can see why from the perspective of, you know, the videos I had sent you and, you know, I can see why when, you know, taking back and regaining that like imagery for your culture and making something like, you know, ugly into something else. Like I understand that, but I also, you know, like one of their main things is like Supreme's market is predominantly like white boys. Yeah. And it's like, you're going to have this on a shirt for like white, white people to be lawyer. walking around is very like problematic. And I, I, I don't agree, know if that was know? like really the whole Intel. I just know from things I had seen. And I was like, that, that is a very good point. Cause I feel like I said that about the Crenshaw skate club mm-hmm. shirt, you know, yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, all the, you know, yeah. I You're getting like taking yeah, back taking out. that imagery in your own and making it something, you know, different than this ugly thing that it was originally created for. But you know, you got to understand like the market and like, you really want like a bunch of white boys it's running around. But I also but, understood like people reclaiming shit as yes, their own. The reclamation, like that's that, where, yeah. like, and that, they're taking that away. Yeah. You, and I don't think that's okay. I mean, but also the I disconnect with, that. with yeah. the disconnect with the Crenshaw Skate Club SB shirt is that the graphics are being done by someone in Brazil. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. So mm-hmm. When he has somebody do his graphics or whatever, he's so disconnected from America. Yeah. Right. So his art style is like ambiguous, like lips and yeah. mm-hmm. eyes and all that. Cause that's just probably how he sees it. No disrespect. Yeah. That's his artwork. So, I mean, Toby has to be conscious of that. And yeah. Like, true. Yo, that's like, true. That's a very good point. And et cetera, whatever. And just be, you know, creative directing his brand the right way. But, I look at it like if Supreme could put all this other good shit on there, they could put Raekwon, they could put all this black exploitation shit, then they can show some bad stuff. Yeah. I mean, the message is still going to I understand hit, that. Because I look at it like even if that shirt didn't sell, it's still going to sell. Somebody right. going to put it in a fucking and collect dust somewhere. Just right. off the controversy of it. that shirt, yeah. they're going to buy it, support it. That's true. And yeah. even That's that, a valid like, point. You might think that the message won't hit, but every time Supreme does a collaboration with somebody, they give you a brief like description, mm-hmm. yeah. paragraphs of whatever whatever it is that they're working on, and they they kind of like uh, they educate you, right? So I mean, the message was still hit, but I didn't. I still agree with 
like white boys wearing it and stuff. Yeah, yeah. it would be because you know some people would definitely take it out of context and make it an ugly thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like but what's the difference in the Andre Serrano collaboration when they did the piss crush? Mm-hmm. Yeah, or like the what is it semen blood and right? No, like they do uh, which is a valid wild, point. Yeah. Wild, which is a valid yeah. point. Some edgy shit. But so I, it's just kind of like I think Supreme also they don't want to become part of the cancel culture because you know it would be an. <laughs> I mean, uproar. it's too late for that. It's, I mean, it I would be know. an uproar if like. I feel like it re- that, that really got released. Right. A lot of people wouldn't. I mean, uh, clearly that's why they that. reneged yeah. it without letting him know, I'm assuming. Yeah, that's crazy, Like, that, I mean, I don't really know what's happening, mm-hmm. but I still, like, I still think there should have been an opportunity to reclaim something as your own. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I, I mean, they didn't, want, they didn't yeah. want us to do our collaboration with, with Denim Tears. Like, me and Tremaine talked for a little bit, and um, he just gave me insight on stuff. Like, yo, Supreme, like, like, kind of just looking at us as competition and not looking at us like, I'm black, Tremaine's black. We right, should work together. Right, you know right, right. Like, look at it like another skate company working with our creative director, and we're another skate company, and, like, y'all shouldn't be doing it. Right. And that's, that's, that's when I said, that's why I posted, and I was like, yo, like, their white minds <laughs> can't, like, comprehend the idea. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. Like, mm-hmm. That we didn't do that because of some skate shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so... Um, that also speaks a lot of Fred. To it yeah. too. He's, he's really Fritz has now. entered the chat. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he Tell likes what to, you gotta say. He's actually on good behavior right now because he mm. does a lot worse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He kissed me in the mouth last time <laughs> un- unwantedly. So, yeah. I mean, it also takes a lot of balls to like resign from a stuff. Oh, yeah. No, 100%. And make that statement. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I completely like resonated with him, like from what he posted, and especially when you start to like really know like the demographic behind who's actually working there. Oh yeah, yeah. that's what was like yeah. wow. And speaking out, yeah, from a big company mm-hmm. and stuff like that too, like especially I'm, one that's really you know in the sneaker community, right. the skate community, you know, the streetwear community, you know, like that takes a lot too. But I feel like when I think of like who's working behind the scenes at Supreme, I'm not. I feel like in my head, I'm like, yeah, it seems like it would be a bunch of white men. Wait a yeah. minute. So, or at least, I mean, honestly, yeah. I was thinking, did at least it? A little bit was diverse. Was it the Carlisle? Yeah. 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 Like, huh? Like white consumers? No, like actually, like behind the seats of like Supreme, not just like in the stores, but like, you know, running corporate. Everything, like, you know, stuff, yeah. I, but in my things head, have I could changed see. since they were bought, right? Like, because th- doesn't the Carlisle group? They were bought, yeah. yeah. They, they were like, yeah. yeah. It's even bigger and like more like yeah. conversations are broken now. Yeah, yeah. A lot of things have changed since yeah. then. Yeah. Like, totally what year was that? Out. Like 2020? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, 2019. Okay, 2019. okay yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, that was about the year Dang. when they started, like, really, like, adding tax on StockX and doing this. I don't know. Oh. It's kind of weird to me. Like, that company funds wars, but, like, you can't do that. StockX? Oh, they, no, Carlisle Group. Carlisle. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they, like, they literally fund wars. Yeah. But, like, They own you know. everything, like Taco Bell. Mm. Yeah. Um, oh, Chips shit. Ahoy. Dang. Like, random shit. Oh, yeah. wow. KFC. And Supreme. Yeah. What the hell you <laughs> but that shirt free. is where we draw the line. Like, <laughs> they that, own America, time, technically. Yeah, yeah. 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 But yeah. at that time, like Supreme, like it still does numbers. But like mm-hmm. at that time, like Supreme was really up there. Like it was. Mm-hmm. Well, you know they're down like fifty, they fifty yeah. million in revenue. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Since I believe it. Too. You can tell, it. to yeah, be you honest. Can you can tell. No one's really yeah. talking about it. I don't see you can anyone tell. posting about, like, the drop. But that was happening yeah, even, drop, like, our, in the last seasons. You know what I'm saying? We we have seen, like, the decrease. I still just, haven't been to the new Supreme store. I haven't been either. And I used to go to the old store all the fucking There's time. There's a new store? Yeah, I hate you. <laughs> I hate you right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wasn't it in the spring season they opened it? It was. On Sunset. It was where like the um, Tower yeah. Records, where the old yeah. Tower Records is. That's where Supreme is now. It's not on oh. Fairfax. Huh. Yeah, Supreme. You didn't know that? They packed their bags and left I Fairfax. I don't be paying yeah. attention to this brand like that. I mean, they didn't own that building, so it was, like, it was only smart to do that. But Carlisle made it, made it a thing for them to, like, it's just like, it's like that movie, The Founder, with the Ray Kroc story with McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Like the yeah. actual the actual guy that owns McDonald's now wasn't the I know, it's so owner. sad. Right, right. He just went and like bought, it bought. was like a real estate thing. Like let mm-hmm. me buy, let me own the building that the McDonald's is in. Uh, so right. every McDonald's that's around the world, if I own the building, then I own the company. The company. Exactly. Uh, I can get the revenue off of it. Exactly. And that's what Supreme is doing now by like open stores in Italy. And mm-hmm. Yeah, they got a lot of stores in now. The past, yeah. what, two years? Yeah, there's yeah, been a lot more stores. openings. Yeah. yeah, San Francisco, Berlin, oh, yeah, shit. San, yeah. Wow. yeah, Berlin, Italy, Korea. Watch Vegas mm-hmm. pop up next. I wonder. It, if it's on the way. Like you know like, it is. Yeah. You know it is. Like, 
why? I mean, I'm sure the money is really good, but like, why would you want to sell your company like that? I mean, he sold a percentage of it. He's still the CEO. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. He, I think he did that to kind of have one foot in and one foot out. True. That like, would there's so sense. much money being like, generated, and mm-hmm. he doesn't want to lose. Yeah. I get it. So it's like, why not Vanity Fair uh, run the business? Get it. And they own mm-hmm. North Face. They own mm-hmm. Vans. They own Timberland. Oh, right. Shit. All these companies that they collaborate with every year, every mm, season. They do. It makes sense because. Oh, they yeah. <laughs> that actually makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Collaborating the whole time. That, that company is probably, yo, like, we should just buy y'all. Yeah, like you, yeah. You come every season, so they yeah. get like a real percentage of that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and not just half of a percent. Right. It's like a little blank. It's a little safety blanket for them in case like things get crazy. Right, yeah. okay. there's money for them. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah. learn something new every day. Yeah, I didn't know there was a new Supreme. <laughs> <laughs> they still love with Supreme though. Like all my homies is running the store over on Sunset. So. That's dope. Yeah, they still love even though like I didn't. I kind of talk shit, but mm-hmm. like they know me personally. And, like, at the end of the day, like, why would I not voice, like, why would I not, like, say what I was saying? Yeah. yeah. Right, no. I mean, you're you still able to have your opinion, even right. if you're cool with someone and don't agree yeah. with everything. Yeah, you, like, yeah. you know, to, so, tons of people at these brands yeah. and companies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is because what it of, is. Because of Tremaine, like, he's the reason why I'm, like, seated by Supreme. And, like, That's dope. That's nice. I get the love and shit. Like, Supreme wasn't yeah. seating anybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like the Carlisle shit kind of, like, opened that. Like mm. audience up to us. Oh. Like, okay, let's, we have money to market now and like seed people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so okay. That makes sense. It's not since, really like, seeding. Ever doing that. Like, 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 like this. Yeah. I mean, and it, and I still feel like too, it's tight though. Have the capital for it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But I still feel, feel like Supreme keeps it tight because you're the only person I follow that literally I see gets seated. From no, Supreme. Nobody else you know gets seated. Not that I follow. Not that I follow. Not that I can think of either. Yeah. He just used to cut the line back in the, line, <laughs> cut the line. We used to walk yeah. to the front of the line back in the day, and that was like the cool thing. Like, right. I used to camp out on Fairfax when I first moved here. Really? Oh my god! Like, I was trying to pay my bills, bitch. Like, <laughs> don't get it twisted, but I was like copping shit too. Yeah. So I would like get enough, like get somebody to basically give me money for what they wanted because they oh, didn't yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, being yeah. out there yeah. type uh-huh. shit. But then I would be like, let me also get extra for like Proxy. what I want type Proxy shit. Top. Pretty much, pretty much. You were the proxy, and I, I was that girl like out there with a chair, like wow. out there. My first two years in LA, yeah. Well, what year do you think this was? This was 2015 and 16. Oh, okay. okay. yeah, that was a good time. That's a yeah, that yeah. was a really good really, time yeah. in Supreme. Yeah. Yeah, me, what a Barlos, time! Everybody, we just you know out. what? Yeah. And it's so funny. We've been, we've been yeah. saying we, we always Barlos. shout out Barlow's on <laughs> yeah. every yeah. fucking episode. Like, yo, Barlow's, I, I got a bone to pick with you, bro. Really? That was really you. Like you canceled year. horses on us, and we, <laughs> nigga, Barlos, we got we issues. When are we going to dinner? Horses oh, on you. Oh, you, you. Shout out horses too. Yeah. Shout see. out Liz. We've been trying to go with Barlow's, but we got to reset. You know Barlow's. Mm. Our schedules. Mm. Are but yeah, um, shout out Supreme. Yeah. <laughs> shout out to yeah, Tremaine. Still, uh, yeah. yeah, more so shout out, shout yeah. out Tremaine. Yeah, he's, he's changed a lot. He's done a lot. And I just, I don't know. I, I feel like he got a lot of balls just leaving something like that. No, that that speaks volumes. It That's really why does. I hit him up. Like, when I saw him posting everything, I hit him up and I was like, yo, like, I fuck with you. Like, you know, saying this, it gives me, you know, more confidence to not dilute, like, my art. Right. Yeah. Stuff that I want to put out. Oh. And it's good to see people actually putting a foot down on what the fuck they believe in because a lot of people don't. Like, mm-hmm. it's because it's scary because you think about yeah. your bills, you think you about your stability. Like, yeah, you know, like, a white dominated yeah. company. Like but it's that, all you know? being sold back to us. That's the problem. Yeah. Like, I'm just mm-hmm. like, yeah. So it's like, yeah, put us in there. Like, put us in there to work. Like, like my homie should be doing more shit right. in the background besides just being an employee there. It's like, let them do some more shit. Right. Change yeah. the brand right. in a different way. But it's so disconnected because, like, bigger people it's like the big fish are so high mm-hmm. oh yeah so, right so. they're not as tapped in right no but that's why neighbors we're just trying to do all that do all that stuff you know what i'm saying well speaking of which yeah. we will get into more about you now right with your other people but right. let's talk about you and your skate shop neighbors uh skate shop in the Merck park yeah. can you tell us more about it and stuff and how it came uh, it came from, like I was saying, like just being anti to everything. I was a consumer for so long. Mm-hmm. And I was on Fairfax hanging out. And I was just like, yo, like, this shit is cool. But I'm noticing, like, everybody that's that's over here is coming from another part of L.A. Mm-hmm. Coming mm-hmm. to Fairfax and making this yeah. shit cool. 
and they all from the same area like me, like I said, Barlow's, mm-hmm. Westmount, Lemur Park, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, South Central, Crenshaw District, like, they were all from that area, and we just went over there, and I'm like, yo, like, I need to just do some shit in my area. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Am I going over okay. there? And I was noticing, like, yo, we got a coffee shop on our block, we got, like, the OGs out here playing, like, drums and stuff, like, the energy was, like, so powerful mm-hmm. over there, and I was like, yo, like, we should just be over here hanging out. And that's where it kind of came from. I had to, like, put the dunks down and put the Supreme down for a little bit and just kind of just be like, yo, I want to wear Neighbors or just be, like, making shit that I could support. Right. It was mm-hmm. my shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's really where it came from, just, like, tired of consuming this shit that they sell to me. Mm-hmm. And that's where Neighbors came from, like, my friends and me, us all skating and being from Lamar Park. It's a good name, actually. Yeah. yeah. It's a good name. Thank you. That's dope. I mean, all my friends are my neighbors. Yeah, <laughs> period. Help me with this shit, so. it really is like mm-hmm. like shows like communal. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. facts. No, that's the reason why I wanted to have you on because like you mm-hmm. really do this. Yeah, like you. you organically are in this shit. Like before you even opened up your store, mm-hmm. like you just have like knowledge on both sides. If that makes any mm-hmm. sense. So to see what you're doing in your neighborhood, that's that's fire. Like because everybody don't take the time to put the shit down that we really are like focused on mm-hmm. to like really put into something that could be something. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Like, you know? We're all consuming something. If we really yeah. just sat back and did something for ourselves, like what y'all doing with this podcast, but this really is like important to like the culture. Right. Not just consuming, but like yeah, resourcing that. and doing something. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Are there not any other shops in the neighborhoods like that? Nah, it was a skate shop in the area back in like 2008. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, my homie Viren, which was uh, his dad, left brain from the Odd Future. He oh, was, uh, okay. He uh, lived on Fifth Avenue on the other side of Fifth Avenue because, like, a school separates like my block, mm-hmm. and so he stayed on the other side. And then his dad opened up a skate shop, and I worked there for like a month. Oh, nice. That was like we were all young. Oh, and I yeah. only stayed open for like a year. Oh, wow. And he didn't have no accounts. It was like we didn't have shit. Like I think we were selling like fall in and like. Not even Etnies. Like, it was like, oh, yeah. oh wow. Yeah, okay. So we couldn't get no accounts. And that lasted like a year. And I always was reminded, like, yo, we need something like this to come back and it'd be like cooler. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Yeah. Accounts, right. Like Nike, Stussy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Converse, Doc Martin. And that's where it kind of like started. And then I was working on Melrose, managing a store that was selling Supreme. So Ooh. I was like, and he was a French dude, and I met him in the line at Supreme. And he was like, yo, I think you'd be cool managing this store that I'm about to open up. It was across from Cool Kids. Across was it like a big store? Cool Kids. Was it, it was pretty big. Was it like all white? Yeah, all white. And it had like, it said, I, I, know it exactly, I know exactly what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. I used, I, to, I used to go in there and shop, actually. No way. When I first, <laughs> like, this is like 2015, maybe. Uh, he opened 20... Okay, well, maybe not. Because it only was, it was only. It was this only is like 2015, like 2016. This is 2015, uh, 2016. Yeah. So maybe it's two different stores, but it could have been the same actual um, location. location because yeah. that location in particular, like, it's always like a mm-hmm. new, mm-hmm. like. Uh, yeah, that's, yeah. I mean, across from Cool Kicks on Melrose. No, because like, I know I mean, exactly you know what location he's talking about. That's why I'm like, it's like the same aesthetic every time it someone opens. Like yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Every okay. time they open that store, it kind of looks the same. It's mm-hmm. just different product in there. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it probably is the same spot, to yeah, be well, honest. My boy, uh, Kev Gaspar gave me that job. He hit me up and was like, "Oh, shout out to Kev." Yeah, shout out Kev. He was um, he was like, "Yo, like you really are like knowledgeable with the Supreme shit. We need somebody to like legit check and do all that type right. of stuff." Right. So he hired me, and then the French dude I had seen in the line just buying, just he was just buying Supreme, just a hype, okay, like fifty year old with French dude. <laughs> and uh, Kev was like, "Yo, like pull up to the shop. Like I want to do the, the the dude wants to meet you." And then I went to the shop, opened the door up, and ended up being him. Oh, okay. So as oh. soon as the French dude saw me, he's like, oh, yeah, you got the job. Like, immediately. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, so then that kind of, like, bubbled. And, like, I, that was really an eye-opener being on Melrose every day. Mm. Like, seeing okay. Seeing all these, like, rich kids just buying into something. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and you said this was, like, 2018, 2019? 19. Okay. 20, 2018, 2019. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And, like, I was just seeing, like, I was like, yo. Oh, like, yeah, because this was probably, like, prime, like, round two days. Everything oh, was oh, yeah. super, yeah, sure. Everything yeah. Was super popping on Melrose yeah. at the sure. time before, so like. That was, like, really the prime. Yeah. yeah. Before like, it, like, sure. That's what I was, like, trying to yeah. imagine. I was, like, it was yeah. super popping. Yeah. 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 And Sean going back and forth, like, all types of stuff. Like, I remember yeah. uh, Sean and the owner got into it because um, he had the off-white uh, Remova. 
Oh, oh, the suitcase. Oh, the suitcase. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was the only I one that, that had one because I think he had a remover like account, mm. so they they held him oh, one. Oh wow! And then Sean wanted to grab it, and I think it was like forty five hundred or something. Sean was like forty five hundred, blah, blah blah. And then they kind of went back and forth on like arguing, <laughs> and then that's when it was kind of like uh, front row K like mm. on the block. But I didn't give a fuck. You know what right. I was just like, whatever. Like, this is just Not some, like, right. hype and shit. And I was like, <laughs> putting his foot down. And yeah, I was just like, whatever. Like, 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 But, yeah, it was it was fun being over there. But then I got into it with the owner. And then that's when I had, like, a life change because I ended up, like, cussing them out and, like, filming it and shit. Oh, okay. Oh. shit went, like, hella viral. Like, oh. Yeah. Like, I filmed. I was like, yo, you a punk. You a bitch. You know what I'm saying? I love that, actually. You owe me money. You know yeah. That's mess. Uh, he was, but he it's, was it's good. Mess. It's, but yeah. it's truth, though. Yeah. It's truth. Yeah. He wasn't paying us on time. Mm. He, oh, he, shit. he fired Kev. He fired a bunch of my homies. Oh, yeah. He kind of had favoritism with me because right. I told you we met already. Uh-huh. So, like, when he saw that me and Kev knew, he kind of was like, I don't need Kev type shit. So then oh. he got rid of, like, a lot of my homies. Wow. And it was just me and him there. Oh. Mm. It's a French dude. So it's like, we couldn't really, <laughs> like, dude. like this yeah. isn't gonna we work. couldn't really, like, bond on a lot. Right. And, yeah, that's when I went to Vegas for some shit. I think I went to Vegas for, um, what was it? Uh, Magic, Agenda. Exactly. Yeah. Agenda, yeah. Agenda, yeah. Yeah. yeah, back mm-hmm. in 2018. And then I came back, and he was like, yo, like, you're fired. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was going. I, like, you was cool with it, everything. And then that's when I was like, yo, I'm about to, I just filmed him. Like, yo, you a bitch. Run me my money. And it just went completely Period. viral. Oh, damn. Like 3,000 views on my story. Yeah. Wow. It was crazy. Love that for you. And then ever since then, like, I just had, like, a spark in me that was like, yo, I need to start my own shit. Yeah. So I started yeah. It takes okay. moments like that yeah. to know you're really getting fucked over right. to be like, yeah, fuck this. Like, right. I completely understand that. So how did you and your friends come together to to create the shop then? So my boy Cleon is um the, the co-owner. Okay. Um, I founded the brand. And me and him, we had, like, dead-end jobs. We were uh, trimming and, like, trimming bud and stuff. Oh, okay. So, okay. like, we were doing that shit for, like, 12 hours, sometimes 14 yeah, hours a day. That, yeah, my, my friend there, like, just, like, she, yeah. and just, like, talking about what we want to do. Yeah. Because he's a great cinematographer, so. Oh, nice. We would just, like, talk about our ideas and stuff. And he said that I mentioned it, like, yo, like, I should do a skate shop type shit. And then in between all of that, I just sent them pictures of keys. Like, we kind of spent off, and he did his thing. Mm-hmm. And then I was doing my thing, trying to get this brand going. And then I sent them pictures of keys, and I was like, "Yo, like, I need your help." Okay. <laughs> it just like it literally just snowballed. Didn't you have a brand before, neighbors? Um, Did you ever have your own brand? No, nah, I was creative directing uh, Crenshaw Skate Club. Oh, like, okay, I, I, okay, I, okay. I, I built okay. I built that brand up like when I met Toby. I met Toby uh, at the um, okay. on Melrose. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Nice. So I was um I was standing outside, and I saw um. No, actually, I went to Supreme, and they had a Crenshaw Skate Club shirt oh. on, the, on the rack. It was black and white. Oh. And I was like, yo, like, whose brand is this? Like, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm from Crenshaw. Like, whose brand yeah, is this? Yeah, like. like he's like, oh, it's just a little kid. So I'm like, a little kid. So I bought it. I wore it the next day on Melrose. And then this older dude took a picture. He's like, can I take a picture of you? And that shirt, that's my son's brand. Oh. And I'm like, oh, shit. That's your son's brand. Got his connect. And then me and Toby met up, and like it was on since then. Like shot that's all this. Stuff. That's a cute yeah, story. We gotta get Toby on, man. We do we need to get Toby because I feel like we talk too. about Toby a lot. Yeah, we really talk about just Toby came a lot. Out and then like we saw, I saw him at the undefeated event with, with the ones and stuff like mm-hmm. that too. So I feel like we might have to get him on now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then that was before neighbors as well. Like I was just doing stuff in my neighborhood, just like helping other people out, other brands, and um. Yeah, I was like, yo, I need to do my own shit. I'm like, giving a lot of shit out. Right. Do my own shit. Just invest in yourself. I get it. Neighbors just coexist with Crenshaw Skate Club. It's like just another brand. We need more brands like that coming out. Of yeah, the yeah. 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 There's room That's for fire. Everybody. Yeah. That's a yeah. good story. That's cool. Do you have any advice then for like people trying to get into the game like that, or even start a, sh- a store? You mm-hmm. know, I or brand. yeah, like yeah. I, I've worked at like a startup type of like consignment shop, and mm-hmm. I've seen like the struggles, yeah. like mm-hmm. you know, for even consignment and resale. Like I'm, I'm sure it's totally different. We're mm-hmm. like a retail shop. Yeah, I would just start small. I would really just, I would home in on like a a small like a small group of whatever you wanted to do, like whatever mm-hmm. that little niche like gap is, because there's a gap in like every culture and yeah, everything mm-hmm. that we That's like true. like mm-hmm. y'all fill in the gap with being a woman 
uh, podcast mm-hmm. about sneakers. You know what I'm saying? So if you just can figure out that and then just be true to yourself, I feel like you can get you can really get really far. That's valid as fuck. That's yeah. valid. Um, no, it is. Yeah, we try to be true to ourselves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we got to be authentic out here. And you got to be a little anti. Like, I'm telling you, that shit works. Like, I was anti to all these brands. And then one day, they just emailed me talking about size and, and address. Because mm. that's just, like, they need you. Like, let's yeah. be real. Like, that's they need true. us. That's they need true. us. And when you realize that, you just do what you need to do. It's like, like the minute you went shit. against the grain, they wanted you. They yeah. want you now. I mean, it's a that makes supreme. sense, though. Like, I bought into that shit for so long. And then all of a sudden they like yo like size location, we got you. Yeah, I love those DMs like that. <laughs> <laughs> what are you telling? You want my size? Here you go. Here's my current <laughs> shipping address. Right. <laughs> I love that. Do you think like anything needs to like change in the industry? Yeah. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. We need more people of color and minorities in these buildings. Hundred percent. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's all being sold back to us, and I just I can't. Like, I can't harp enough that it's, it's so important that we should be selling our own shit. Mm-hmm. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And that's just the biggest part of it. We should be selling our own stuff. Facts. Valid. I agree. I think, like, was it hard obtaining the accounts for your store? Ooh, that's like, a great question, actually. You know, I know, like, because you, you know, did know people and you were mm-hmm. doing things for other stores, but, like, you know, do, getting did the your connections own, like, you had built before, yeah. like, kind of helped that? Like, yeah, so I had to be, an- like I said, I had to be anti again with the Nike SB shit. That shit was really kind of crazy because I've been wearing that shit for a long time and not really getting, like, a recognition from the right. brand. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, with my friends mm-hmm. and the people in L.A. And when I got anti and start wearing chucks or, like, vans and all this shit and I start doing the neighbor stuff, mm-hmm. it's like those brands paying attention to mm-hmm. what's going on. Oh, he's yeah. not interested in uh, uh, Nike. He's oh, okay. Like, oh. he wants, and that's when they started seating me. And then I started getting seated. And then people started like you know getting fired, like they always do. Mm-hmm. And then whoever was fired isn't can't see me anymore. Right. Mm-hmm. So then I go reaching out like, "Yo, what's good?" And then that's when I was really like, "Yo, like, not fuck Nike SB, but I was just more so like, y'all motherfuckers is some weirdos." Cause <laughs> when if y'all know who I am, and y'all know what I'm doing, then it should be like y'all should be on the cusp of that. Like, yeah. It shouldn't be me telling y'all nothing. So mm-hmm. when I email y'all and I say, "Yo, I'm not getting seated no more. Y'all not sending no- nothing no more." If you respond to me talking about like, oh, I don't even know who you are type shit. Mm. That's that, wild. And yeah. that's, that's how that started. So that whole conversation started like that. So then when I got that email like that, I was like, all right, I'm done. No more Nike SB. I'm not, I don't even care. Yeah. yeah. And then that's when we was just sitting in the shop. <laughs> <at> the, <laughs> we used to have like tarp up on the windows mm-hmm. before it opened. We used to be in the shop yeah. every day, hanging out, working there. And then one day a rep came in, like I said, Nike oh. SB soccer jersey. Mm. Obviously we weren't open, but he came in like a like a customer, and I'm just kind of like, like speak. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying like <laughs> the, when the door's unlocked, but it's right. not, we're not open. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't right. know you who he was. At, I didn't know who he was. Point, so yeah. it's like you should come in and kind of you know speak and shit. I just walked up He's to the ops, table and honestly. was like, uh, "Yo, it's Trey around," and I was like, "Yo, I'm Trey," and then he's like, "Yo, like I'm blah 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 at Nike SB." And then we all just looked at him, and then <laughs> uh, okay, and, <laughs> and then like As yeah, it he's be like, when um, you, you guys got a dope shop. shop, you know, all this other stuff. And then he's like, you think I can see a stock room? And then um, me and Clint <laughs> <were upstairs. laughs> yeah. that's a lot. I'm sorry, that's a lot. That's pretty personal. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, like you know, we went upstairs, and then as soon as he went upstairs, he just started apologizing. Oh, I guess he was around. Like wow. I was all my friends in there. Start apologizing, yo. Y'all man. have an upstairs. Yeah, that's I've never been to the store, and I, I feel ashamed ahead. actually. Yeah, yeah. But I yeah, yeah. 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 But I'm like, he just started apologizing, yo, man. I'm sorry. I might have been a dick on the, on, the, on the email. Oh, so he's I didn't the one that see you. <gasps> wow. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I, I I I had on like some. Uh, I had the John uh, Vans on those brown ones, oh. and he was yeah. like. Uh, <laughs> We gotta get you in some SBs, and then I just I just wasn't moved by that shit. Then mm-hmm. you know what I'm I was like, yo, like, all right, whatever. Yeah, and then maybe six months later, that's when like our delivery started coming in because we had to do our pre books for the season, and we had missed the season. Mm. But yeah, like it just wasn't 
I thought it'd been a little more exciting having an Ikea TV. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A little more authentic. More like, I feel like more people yeah. probably like, oh, you could get all the SBs yeah. you want. Yeah. You but, get all these dunks and SBs coming but, out. Yeah, but I feel like, you know, we we talked prior to recording and like the with Pawn Shop and everything and mm. like people really aren't like often coming in to buy like certain merchandise, you know, they're really yeah. just coming in for raffles or seeking like dunks and stuff. And mm-hmm. that's like yeah. the downside of, you know, the skate shop, I guess. Like, it's just a huge disconnect. Life. I mean, yeah. skate shops are like mom and pop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly. for sure. Yeah, that's like the difference. That's how a lot of them feel. Like, like that's how, how they like, mostly feel. Are, like, yeah. We're not doing orders that undefeated do. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? yeah. Right. They're probably doing 15, 20,000. Oh yeah, of course. 30,000 a season. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not more. Mm-hmm. And, just like we're like you know five six thousand, so I just look at it like that's crazy. If it's a situation where they can help us, I feel like they should be helping. They should, I yeah. Mean, yeah. They not should. That many skate shops in the U.S. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so yeah, it's really a small especially company. many that are black owned. On top of it, on yeah. top no, of that, no, no, that no. yeah. Like there's one the home girl out in Toronto, but that's like. In Toronto, yeah, right. Uh, in so it's not even like in like North in America. Well, I mean, it is North America, but yeah, there's none in California, there's none in, in the U.S. From my wow. understanding, um, there's black Kudos like, skate to businesses. Yeah. yeah, wow, I didn't yeah, realize that. Yeah, I no black skate shop. Wow, wow. Yeah. that's why it's super important. That's why, I feel like, every brand that we have in the shop, I I can't like, I can't say it enough that y'all ha- they have to support us. Like that's what I'm mm. saying. Yeah, Converse they gave us credit. You know what I'm saying? Like. Nike LA did the fucking block party. It's like y'all have to support us. Yeah, we're a small business. Hundred like percent. Hundred yeah. percent. So if they're not trying to do that, like that's when we push away because more bills. Is yeah, not it makes yeah. sense. It's, this is a two way street. Yeah. Like. Exactly. I mean, so. I think that also speaks to how authentic you guys want to be too. Yeah. Cause, yeah. Because I feel like we even see like in the sneaker community that like people like take on or say yes to a bunch of companies and brands and stuff for deals when you know it is kind of fake you right know, it's real clickbaity right. mm-hmm. and stuff like that when it's not like really authentic to who yeah. you and who you are you know i mean mm-hmm. plenty of conversations like uh, like i said they have this pie chart and they tell you you need to buy all this shit and i just keep it a buck and i'm like yo i don't even like it i'm like i don't yeah. i don't want a force 58 in the, in the store as much as you yeah. want to talk to me about how this is the new silhouette we push and mm-hmm. all sorts yeah. of stuff like if i don't get that force 58 i can't get the the dunks the right yeah. right it's just like mm-hmm. and then the dunks are only selling to a degree you know what i'm saying yeah and they're like giving the you a particular number and allocation too oh, with yeah. that too yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean they're saturating the yeah, market with like dunks now you know so with dunks like every week Did you guys get color. pandas Y'all been getting the panda uh, restocks. The panda. <laughs> uh, no. This is a regular dunk. Yeah, because that's a that's on the regular size on the SB. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 yeah I mean, yeah. in a month there might only be like if you're lucky, maybe two or three dunk drops. If you're lucky, like, that's it, crazy. Typically, mm. it's not that many a month, right? Yeah, it's not. No, maybe not one. SBs. Yeah, so yeah, not from an SB standpoint. SB that's not. true. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. The SB. You're, you get like them more on that on the Nike side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just plain dunks. Yeah, but not SBs. If we have bills and we're paying a net sixty, which is two months and only two pair of dunks come out Mm -hmm. in that month and they're wholesale sixty five dollars we only get twenty eight right that's nothing that's nothing nothing. you're great yeah Yeah. have like any of your shipments yeah been stolen at all like i know that's like been a thing going yeah. on like there's been have y'all, yeah, have y'all dealt with that okay. at all uh, we never because i know there's that. been stores okay. that like yeah, they haven't yeah, been getting yeah. shipments and then they're behind on like payments to nike and they're like we don't have no fucking yeah, product like, to sell yeah. like we can't yeah. pay to do. Them for this, i mean they have like they have like ship things like either super super like in advance or late they ship is so late mm-hmm. and then they have to switch the, which that's the common like, actually sometimes yeah. people Especially drop shit like kingswell has had some things before and then we got it like way later after the fact. Okay. Mm-hmm. But like they just in, they just say like yo post it as soon as you get it or post it that weekend of or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's just a lot of rules with the shit. Like yeah. I said, we in the hood and it's kind of a different mm-hmm. way that I want to do stuff. You know what I'm saying? As you and should. They don't yeah. really agree with it too much. I mean, that goes to them not being as tapped into that type of community though. Anyways, exactly. too, you know, and then exactly. not having people mm-hmm. that are representation from in that community as right. well you know exactly i mean it's, it's just a funny company just in general like i remember they all came down from portland this was um this was the the clothing side of sb like mm-hmm. so it was like designers mm-hmm. and like people that are like taking references from stuff like plms and stuff exactly yeah. and like i kid you not it was like a 55 year old asian lady and like <laughs> 
48 year old white man skater from it, it was really crazy it was such wow. a crazy the group of people when they all came in it looked like like a Universal Studios like, <laughs> in the hood, tour. right? Yeah. And it it looked crazy. It was crazy. I was like, yo, like y'all work for Nike SB, and he's like, yeah, we work for Nike SB. Yeah, we're the ones. Yeah. Like, I can wow. tell. Wow. It shows. Like, uh, it's like, and that, and they need more. All these companies need more people that are cool. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all want to hire the mm-hmm. creative director? Younger folks. That's cool as fuck. That. And then he works under people that are cornballs. I yeah. don't understand that. Like, why are you hiring such a cool creative director? And then you have all these random people that don't like even corny like niggas connect. like working for yeah. you. Yeah. Coaching. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really wild. They'll figure it out. It'll probably be too late by then. <laughs> probably. <laughs> yeah. All right. Probably. Okay. Like I, have, I have one last question before we get into unboxing. Do you think you can teach me how to skateboard? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you gotta come because, by a skateboard. Because um, there's a lot of men who have a problem with the fact that I wear SBs and I can't skateboard. Right? <laughs> oh my God. So I said I'm going to learn how to skateboard and I'm going to skate across this YouTube <laughs> fucking channel one day. I mean, the irony of that is that the person that's probably telling you that don't even skate. That, that yeah, part. That part, too. I mean, Shit. me and my homie was laughing because, um, like, a lot of people, like, my homie... Uh, just my homie Kyle, he just sold uh, the Book of One um, Air Max. It's like an older Air Max. Mm-hmm. And he sold it for $2,600 to like some dude in like Missouri. And his <laughs> entire Instagram is Air Maxes. Mm-hmm. And he's holding, like, I was laughing because it's like, it's like a hand model. Mm-hmm. It's like they're mm-hmm. meant to be on your feet. Yeah. So he takes a picture of them like this and it's the entire. That's his whole feet. His entire uh, feet. Okay. Like hand a lot of men like so that. it's like a, sh- a hand sh- shoe. It's like his yeah. relic shoes. It's so, it's, I'm, it's so, it baffles me so much because I'm just like, yo, like, like you don't wear this shit. Yeah, you it's meant to be worn. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's a relic. It's like, come, like those are not the people that's gonna keep the culture going. Oh, oh no. not it's at all. all. That's gonna keep it going with the podcast and like wearing them and like, you. you know, what I'm saying it's 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 so disconnected right now with. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot of subcultures with its sneaker community, and it's mm-hmm. just there's a lot going on right now. Yeah, and like all my homies that skate, do not wear SBs. They don't skate in SBs. They're not comfortable. Not anymore. Yeah, it mm-hmm. seems Nobody like it's becoming a thing. And yeah. all my homies is trying to get it. If you give them a fucking chunky donkey or some fucking red lobster <laughs> bullshit, they're going to sell it. Like, <laughs> like, man, I don't understand it. Like we are skating. We're skaters. Yeah. We're not going to skate some three thousand dollars shoe. Yeah. Right. Right. So like, what is like? What is what your you guys, comfortable skate yeah. shoe you wear? Some chucks. Yeah, I was gonna Period. say chucks. Yeah, chucks. Good old chucks. Yeah, I love some chucks. chucks. Are they really that durable? Oh, they are. Yeah, I they still have chucks version. from high school Ooh, yeah. Yeah. that look You're like right. they've been through the fucking ringer. <laughs> no, chucks last. Yeah. yeah. And honestly, I'm even though I don't have an everyday shoe, but they're just easy to put on. Oh, and they just are. Go. I, I and they just so, look yeah. good with anything. Yeah. Like you know, on nice some just regular sleek. shit. Like I love me some Converse. Same. What well, are there any like upcoming things you have going on that you can talk about? Yes. Yeah. Um, we got a few collabs I can't talk about, but we do have um, some activations that we're doing. We're okay, doing, like, Ooh, a burger speak night. Please let us know. Oh, oh my god, we all love Lane. trophies. So, is that like is that Geo? Like, yeah, yeah. Chef yeah. Geo, yeah. Yeah. Chef Geo. Love Geo. We have a burger um stand in uh, Lemur Park called A One Burger. Yeah, and, I'm aware. Um, the the recipe of that burger is like the original Fat Burger. Okay. The story oh. of that location. Mm-hmm. So I told uh, Chef Gio that we should remake that burger. That would be dope. That would wow. be fire. Yeah. That'd be really cool. I love me a good burger. I love trophies. So too. are y'all going to like collab on that burger? Like what is uh, like what's going on? We're gonna do a shirt and I was gonna then say shirt, we're gonna yeah. have a burger. Is this gonna be like an event? Yeah. It'll okay. Be like a burger night. Like okay. Nice. Will it be consistent or is it like a one time thing? It's a one time thing. Are okay. you gonna do it at okay. trophies or are you gonna do it at, at your trophies. guys? Okay. That's I love it. Yeah, yeah I love Murder when go there. You know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is there a set date yet or no? No set date yet. Okay. He's doing family style. Okay. So like probably after the family style. Family style. That's what October. Yeah, it's October. Yeah, usually. Did you go last year? We all went last year. Yeah. I don't think I went. You did it. I don't remember. I going. went. The last I one you I went, went to was 2018. I don't think I did. Wasn't I, that the first one? Was yeah, it? I feel like that was the first one. Was that when it was um in the it was on Fairfax? Yeah, it's, it's, it's always on always Fairfax. On Fairfax. Yeah. It's I'm it's pretty sure that was the first yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. the first one. Okay. I think that yeah. was the first one. Yeah. Yeah, that one was cool. Yeah, last year. But was I thought the first one was the one when they had the drive through. Oh, oh, I don't remember that. 2020, you know. During the panty, the they had one during the with John and Vinny's when we did that. Oh, you know what? You're right, actually. You are right. Because it was, it was like a pandemic. COVID type of thing. Yeah, yeah exactly. you couldn't like really be that. outside, outside. Right. Yep, you're right. I didn't do that. I don't remember that. 
Uh-uh. I do remember that, but I didn't. I didn't intend that because I was like, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> like, but I remember in 2020, I don't know if it was one or two. They were like seating hella tickets, and they like reached out to me and was like, "If you here, take this VIP ticket." Was it last year then? No, not last year. The year before that. So 2021. One. Yeah, 2021. And yeah, they were 2020 like, "2020 was the." Drive-thru. The drive through, yeah. yes, and they're like, you can just, you know, give to like a couple friends, like a VIP ticket, and just like showcase oh, that you're there. Type reach shit. out to them and again. Like, then. Well, that was when they they hired an agency to uh, like do their shit, and they don't fuck with them no more because I was expecting it last year too. Yeah. I was like, yep, I ain't got to pay for shit, which I just still didn't have to pay for, but we still had to finesse. Yeah, but I was like, so what's up? Are y'all doing that this year? They're like, should, they didn't hire us. I was like, okay, never mind. You should definitely ask people questions there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do, do something there. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. funny as yeah. fuck. <laughs> yeah. That'd be like really a food cool. They're doing some questions. cool stuff, like mixing food with, like, fashion and culture. Yeah. 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 At least that's original. I mean, yeah. I mean, everyone loves food. Yeah. Right. Holla Rice be there, and then they be mm-hmm. having the, the clink clink people, and clink, then, clink, like, clink, 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 the, the wine, the thing Matt be going to, clink, clink, that clink, the remember, undefe- they did, like, the undefeated thing, oh, thing. yeah, 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 uh, clink, oh, clink. oh, oh, yeah, it's like, a, like, a wine pop-up, mm-hmm. yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they be having a good orange wine, shout out to orange, orange wine. wine, wow, oh, are, is that the that's one that's John and Vinny, because it aren't you know John and Vinny's has the orange wine? Is that no, the same? Yeah, one? no, it's not the same oh, one. Okay. But but John and Vinny's does have orange wine okay. though. And that's like shit good. Natural orange wine, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That shit good. Okay. Natural wine. When we were when we went to that thing, that's La Cienica yeah, shit. That's what some. I was yeah, drink it on. Which was yeah, nice. La Cienica, wow. Shout out to La Cienica. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's get into our unboxing question now. Okay. And our question this week to people were what? Uh, what sneaker or sneakers um, has sentimental value to you? So we'll answer first, and then we'll get into, like, the answers yeah, that, we that we got from answers. people. put a picture of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know you could Wait do that. You could do that? I, didn't know. I had what? no idea. That's actually my homegirl, Jasmine, too. Like, I had no idea. You know how Instagram. Are these Bel Airs? Yeah, oh, okay. I think those are Bel Airs. Those are Bel Airs. You can't. Wait, you could do that? I didn't. I didn't. didn't Look, just I'm just finding out. out about this too. You know how Instagram be having like beta versions and shit? Oh, they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll like give it yeah. to just too many people. Like you could do it, and then like yeah. be like, how come I can't do mm-hmm. it? It's yeah. one of those things. Hair blazers. Those are the women's black and white ones, right? Yeah. Yeah. Those I think are so. Old. Yeah. Those are like 2006. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those are really old. Oh, seven, something like that. Okay. Those um, were undefeated back in the day. Okay, so you're our guest, so we'll let you oh, answer you first? answer first. Yeah, what what shoe has sentimental value to you? Uh, I had a flu game twelves. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I was a kid when I got those. I I physically asked for those shoes. Yeah. Mm. And then I I put them on and I went to go to like the homie's birthday party and I had to take them off to get in a jumper. Oh. And then oh I, no. I came back and it was gone. <gasps> no. Fresh. Like this is like ninety seven, ninety eight. Like the weak. originals. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh my god. Mm-hmm. Fresh, like mm-hmm. I remember, I used to put um, not out the day. jumper, right. <laughs> not out the jumper. Yeah, having a good I had old a whole time. like Jordan fit on at the like the wow the cut s- the sleeves the on the white. T-shirt. It was like you know how he oh. used to cut the sleeves on his. Oh shirts? yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. That's why I had one of those with the red logo. Oh my god, some black yeah. shorts, and I, I used to put wristbands like on my ankle. Yeah, on my That's ankle funny. and like my calf and shit. It was a look, and Dang. yeah, I took them off and came back. Aww. It was gone, and I feel like somebody, somebody older took them. I had Damn, like who is stealing oh, kids? Kids stealing shoes. Kids shoes. Right. Like, kids shoes. You fell for that. Did you ever like get 90s? another pair back? Like when I they re released? I never and got stuff? them back. Yeah, you never wanted them back. I mean, I just felt a certain way. I was mm. like, damn. Like, I know when they released them, they didn't do them the right way. That's like how nice. I really wanted them. And then the 97, 98 ones are probably not even wearable. So yeah. I'm like, you know, yeah. chuck it up. But, wow. yeah, that shoe yeah. definitely. I'm sorry that happened to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that was me, like, li- like watching Jordan play and shit. And I'm yeah. like, I want some Jordans. And that was the shoe that was out at the time. Man. Yeah. I'm sorry to young Trey. Right. I know. <laughs> Never got him back. Damn. Uh, sad. Uh-huh. What about you, you honey? You. I'm gonna let y'all go first because I gotta think about it. I didn't get the memo. I uh, just letting you know. I didn't we get sent the memo, memo out two days ago. 
Well, no, I sent it this earlier today but about I, us I swear you put it yesterday, too. No, no the, I put the picture up, but I posted. I mean, I sent you the outline. <laughs> yeah. But, but it's I, not on the outline. But I texted you guys you you this morning. I could have sworn you texted like two no, days I, ago. I, said, I, I thought about this morning when I was looking for an outfit to wear. I was like, This is a long day. It felt like two days ago. I was like, we should wear something. That also has sentimental value right, to guys. us because yeah. it goes with our unboxing question. I have some sentimental things, but I need to like think about my story. So okay, like, I'll let you go first. Um, you go well, I wore these Jordan Nines um, because I, I probably have like a few sentimental shoes, mm -hmm. but I was like try, really trying to think of one, and these are either sentimental. My dad bought them for me. And I'm really mad that he bought them resale at the time from mm. Fight Club. So they were oh, way, oh way, God. way overpriced. Wow. But my dad doesn't know anything about shoes. And he just wanted, it was like for Christmas. And he wanted to do something nice for me. And I had been talking about these shoes. <laughs> he always wanted to fuck any. <laughs> and I had been talking about these shoes. And he like, he bought them for me for Christmas on Fight Club. And I was like, where did you get these? Because right. I was like, if he at first, you know, this was probably like 24. 14. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, they came out. They came out. It is 13. a good gift. Yeah. Good so good so that's, yeah. A, and I was just like, I loved it, but I was like, I was upset for him because I was like, you you spent too much money. You got yeah, it from Fight Club. Yeah, I know yeah. you overpaid. Mm -hmm. But I, <laughs> I loved it at the same time. I was like, so they, I would never get rid of him. My dad got him for me. And oh, yeah. Which is cute. Can. He tried. He tried. Oh, that's so And he, he succeeded. He succeeded. Right, yeah. And they're real. And they're real. <laughs> yeah. That's like, I'm going to give him a lot of credit as, a, a, bar. as a, yeah, yeah. yeah, as a parent. Yeah. Because you know, most of these parents. They yeah. are not. You, they, they don't, don't know. know. Shit about I had just been like really talking about these and I was like, fuck, I want these shoes so bad. Because at this time I was wearing a lot of nines. Like, I was wearing a lot of nines at this time, so I was really wanting these. And like, he listened. He, my dad will um, rarely, you know, hit it on the head for because <laughs> he be he be buying some random shit. I'm like, dad, my dad be doing the same this. thing. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, thanks, dad. <laughs> but these, yeah, these are special. But you fuck with the nines just in general. Yeah, yeah, I yeah I don't wear them as much anymore. I haven't worn these in so long, but I do love nines. Like I always, I thought mm -hmm. they were a really great shoe. Do you have the olives? I did, and I fucking sold them to Riff, and I because they were a Ooh. seven and a half. I had oh them, too big. Sold them to Riff. I had them for a while, and I wore them, but I was like, I want to find a seven. I thought I could sold them for Riff at the time. They weren't even that much, yeah. I, and then prices went up on them, and I'm just like, <gasps> I hate that. They were never the released in GS. I oh, love dang. that shoe. I have so many shoes that I bought. I love I that shoe. Yeah, all of nine. Girl, I have it. tons of shoes I don't even wear. But they never even came in <laughs> yeah. my size, so I'm very jealous. It's one of those yeah. shoes, you know. I'm really Didn't sad get to participate. They, now that I got they, rid of them. They dropped, they retro the olives win. Ooh. I mean, it was a while It's ago. been yeah. a minute. They haven't retroed them that much. No. Maybe 2011 Six. or 12, Ooh. maybe? Not, or nine. Like, it's between like, those years. Yeah. I was thinking more recent. No. Wale was like Wale was like, hot when they came. They out. did like so a recent like, probably like 2011, like 12. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember when was the Wale last time they came out. Yeah, like, remember when Wale was getting, oh, the, getting the shoes? 2012. 2012. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's oh. been a minute. Them shit sitting up. That's nuts. Three hundred. Wa watch them come out in the next. Yeah, see, Blake will be over overcharging everything. I still want those, man. Yeah, I love me some. Give honor. it to the GS, bro, or the I mean, extended size. No, sizes see, because they did, they, look at, they did this ugly one with a twist in 2022. Wow. That ain't the same thing. But it has yeah, that, like, this, like, oh, oh yeah, on the back. No. Yeah, what is that? they did this in 2022. And that's why everyone was like, it's not it's the like real. It's like a Hirachi type of colorway. Yeah. yeah. Whoever at Jordan Brand be making those decisions, please stop. Like, because <laughs> like, that, that don't be it. necessary. And I know that should be sitting. It go to the outlets, and then you got to send it somewhere else. So don't do that. I mean, I would probably say like a colorist or something. Yeah, a, a col yeah, a color a colorist. Yeah. <laughs> a colorist, yeah. Yeah. exactly, they really be, exactly. Yeah, that really they really have they have to conform to like seasonal colors. Like yeah, no, it like is. It's that. definitely yeah. like color, but there's a the PLM still is the person that like curates everything. Yeah. So it's it's really a team effort. So y'all team sucks. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, Janelle, your shoes. <laughs> okay, so I have two that I can obviously think of most um so i'm wearing my cardinal sevens because these are one of the first jordans that i had when i first started collecting and i bought them at Ch not these this pair obviously but i bought them at chic and i put them on layaway and i Damn, how long my, ago was this? my mom helped me put them on what layaway year? Layaway. Uh, that's what I, I'm like. What year was this? Uh, 11, 12? It was, it was had to be a minute yes, ago. Yes. 
And some right. Jordans at that. Yeah, they like let me put them. Shoe. Yeah, they let me put them on layaway. Yeah. And um, my mom helped me put them on layaway. And then I was selling like candies, like the big candies, big size candies. And King I was size. making. Was you in middle school? No, it was in high school. Oh, okay, okay. And I was selling um, baked cookies, like homemade baked cookies, because my everyone loved my mom's cookies. So I just like. Did you bring cookies at Christmas? I did bring cookies. To <laughs> Christmas. Was like, yeah, well, and that, <laughs> those cookies. Those cookies are what helped me get a lot oh of my, my first I these couple cookies. shoes. Yeah. Okay, cookie recipe. <laughs> cookie recipe. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally. Inside so, joke. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so I sold them at school and stuff. I sold the cookies two for a dollar. And I got my money to buy the rest I'm, of right. the, no, you know, the, the cookie layout. recipe. Layout, oh, you know? right. um, and then stupid me ended up selling them, you know, later on in my sneaker journey. But yeah, what, as we all do. Right, yeah. But I was able to work with um jd sports earlier this year um they just opened up a new store in costa mesa um shout out to my homie shoddy because he's the he used to be the manager there um but they like uh gave me like credit to like buy a, sh- a shoe oh, that's okay. and that's when these came out and i was like holy oh. shit i can like finally get yeah, them like, back, back in my again. collection huh. quote unquote for free you know yeah. too mm-hmm. and i was just like wow like it, it's crazy how full, full circle, circle mm-hmm. like that kind of like came about for me first putting them on layaway to now like working with like an actual sneaker or a shoe store and then just getting them for yeah. like free quote unquote. Um, so I thought that was like really nice and I, and they're still as comfortable as like, I remember them. And I like so, some are extremely comfortable, which is really crazy. Um, but my second shoe, I'm sad. <laughs> <laughs> my second shoe is my um, 1994 black cement threes that skate got me yeah. just because mm, like okay. it's it's been like a big grail of mine because black cement threes are like one of my favorite sneakers my favorite silhouettes and stuff like that are threes um but the fact that the 1994 black cements were the first grade school um black cement threes that came out or threes that came out they have like the fat um, elephant print on them, mm-hmm. and I just like, and that's the year I was born. Like I was gonna to say, have, that's yeah, the year yeah. you were born. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Yeah. I was like, the it's year the year I was born, born to, and for that to be like the same, like sh- the shoe that I love now, like has came out too. Like it, it's nice having a shoe that is as old as me. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. like yeah. It, it's just I really love those shoes a lot, even though I can't wear them right now. Yeah, but, and I don't, I don't. Honestly, think I don't want to. Yeah, I want. I kind of want to just keep them. Oh, mm-hmm. like the soles are. Yeah, yeah the soles are crumpled. Yeah, you definitely yeah. can't wear them. Yeah. The you don't believe in sole swapping either. Huh? I I don't. I do and I don't. Like it got. Like if God were to let me get another pair, maybe I'd soul swap them. Yeah. But for the first pair, like I have, like I don't want to touch them. Like yeah. I, I like keep them the way that You they think that like the nice sole on like a used shoe is like a a look. Or does it kind of have to be like, does it have to match? Like putting a newer sole on an older shoe? Yeah. Or like just a sole that was kind of used to go with an older shoe versus a brand new Jordan 3 sole. Yeah. So something yeah, that's still in good used, condition yeah. that's older? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. got it. Got I, it. Yeah. I'd probably find an older. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that makes I feel more like sense. A, newer, yeah. a brand new, like twenty twenty three or like soul. Yeah, like, you it know, would putting be, it on something, it, it, it would it, look weird. It would yeah. look, look, yeah. feel whatever. Yeah, yeah. compared yeah. to a thirty year old yeah. upper, like yeah. it would be. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it with like the fives, and I wasn't a fan. Oh. Of it. Yeah, it too like new at the bottom. True. Yeah, that yeah. part, and like mm-hmm. even just the, even though it could be the same shoe, mm-hmm. it's literally the. The mold, different material. Everything. Yeah, yeah, it's stuff not the same. Yeah, they change over the years. Like the yeah. metallic yeah. fives, like there's something about you like just that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of like mm-hmm. it, it cracks kind of. Mm-hmm. So you can mm-hmm. see, like if you were to change the sole, you would see how it would kind of like. Yeah. Just, Where would, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 Well, did you think of a shoe? Huh? <laughs> yeah, I got two, I guess. <laughs> um, so even though I don't own them anymore because they did disintegrate uh cool gray force 2004 was the first shoe I ever mm. bought with my own money what? and i worked hard for it i was working at tj maxx y'all wow. i was i was the bitch in the dressing room like <laughs> you have three items okay <laughs> like i was her and i bought those with my own money and i bought them a half size too small because i mm. got them for cheaper i bought a three because at that time i was a three and a half oh, but shit. you know that the three and the three and a half is where the, the price changes yeah, the so size. Mm-hmm. yeah 
And it, it was cool because everybody wanted a cool gray fours or yeah. whatever, you know, which is still like a huge shoe, you know. Yeah. One of the best fours ever. I believe that too. Um, and then I have to say my Air Bacons because yes. um, I got them. I got them when they retroed. I did have the original pair with the um, like all. Well, they said it was the all uh, but even though it was just flames. That's why mm, they had got recalled yeah, or whatever. Yeah. Those crumbled. But um, when I worked at finish line, finish line when I was the manager, we were not supposed to get um, like the small sizes of them. We only were supposed to get like sizes like eight through thirteen. Mm. And for some reason, they sent us grade school. And I was so fucking happy. Wow. And that's the same shoe I did my billboard in in downtown yeah. LA. Oh, and I and love that. Nice. Yes. And that shoe, I feel like that was like a, when I did that billboard, I feel like that kind of just changed everything for mm-hmm. me as far as like opportunity no, and like people actually like recognizing the mm-hmm. things that I did for my community. You know what I'm saying? So definitely the Air Bacon. Nice. And, yeah. Well, it is. Yeah. It's an awesome like shoe. That. It's yeah. a, such that's an also awesome a full, shoe. Full circle for you too. Yeah, yeah. Like being on the billboard and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How'd really you cool. feel about them like bringing those back? Like the green, green, and the flip. Um, I thought they did a good job actually. Yeah. I actually enjoyed them. I want the white and yellow pair, but I'm not. When they come, they'll come. You know yeah. what I mean? But I like them a lot. The guy in there's a guy in San Francisco who actually um that works for Supreme that sent them to me because I was on like. Instagram crying as always, like, <laughs> I didn't get them because they're not in my size of sneakers or, like, whatever. <laughs> and he, like, hit me up and was like, bitch, what's your address? <laughs> I'm dead. I and love those yeah. DMs, and he, too. And he, yeah, he <laughs> sent them to me, and I was Y'all like. put it on the universe. Right? Yeah. I was, but I had met him when I was up in the Bay for work. Mm. At, when I actually went with Jen and Leah when we were doing the heirloom mm-hmm, activation. Yeah. He came in. We're just talking. He looked like a cool guy. He was smoking mm-hmm. a cigarette and shit. I said, oh, you're cool. You're smoking <laughs> like cigarettes. Cool guy. So, like, <laughs> he had, like, a cigarette. no, he had a cigarette. He had a little, like, fucking leather jacket. Okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, you're cool. You're What's good. up? <laughs> so, I'm going to have a conversation with you. And he was like, hey, you got some 990s back there by any chance? I said, I do. He said, oh, I need them. I said, we got you. And so, me and Aunt, like, discounted them for him. And he's like, anything you need after this? Say less. I was like. Okay, but you know, I don't ever reach out to people for anything. Yeah, so good. when he seen me crying on Instagram, he was like, "What's your address?" <laughs> and then <laughs> got him. That's so yeah, that's nice. yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's get into other people's sentimental stuff. <laughs> um, let's see. Someone said Nike Air more up tempo. Yeah, ninety six. Those are cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the Harachi Half Quakes. I love those. Had me in awe. <laughs> um, not Adidas, but the Air Griffey. Oh, I don't know Maxima. why they said that, but the Air Griffey. Uh, Was there an Adidas Air Griffey? I'm sorry, what? Yeah. Yeah, right. What did, okay. Yeah, I mean, now I'm confused. Right. <laughs> Which Air Griffey's, uh. But why did he say not Adidas? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Um, Salt waters or whatever. I'm confused. Right, the first one was right. Uh, Skate said the OG black red Jordan 13s. First shoe I bought with my own money. Well, that's nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but spending your own money, you'll remember that shit. That's fast. <laughs> Look. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Bel Airs. Someone put up that picture. The Bel Airs. I did not have that shoe. The Someone said Travis Scott, Jordan 1 High, and Jordan 11 Concord had to sell both of them for cash. Uh. Damn. I've been there, bro. We've all been there. I've been there. Mm -hmm. Um, 2011 Concord 11s. We carried pistols to get that shit. I was at the mall for (laughs) those. Who the fuck said it? I was definitely, I definitely camped out for those as well. Oh, my God. Yeah, that that was that and the the 2012 bread 11s. Like, those two back to back years were. Those were crazy. There's a picture of like everybody at the W Center, like, Boxes. One of them yeah. years, niggas was yeah. getting killed too. Like it was in for the other Concord. cities, the Concord yeah. were getting killed. The yeah, way really that did. I remember this. Were, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's nuts. Um, someone said military fours. Um, 2012 Jordan Seven Olympics. Olympics. It was my first ever camp out outside of Foot Locker. Worth five hours of waiting. I actually camped out for this shoe as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. The question is, was it a nine on the back? Or a 
Ooh. Should have said that. Well, it was 20. What, it was a 2012. 12. So which one so was I that one? So I think. Oh. The nine is the best one. So that's what I'm saying. Like, if you got the nine on the back, then you get the points. Mm. Well, they also came out with the sevens. I mean, the sixes that year as well. I think both dropped around the same time again. 2012, they were doing, like, packs and shit, right? Yeah. Yeah, they still were, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Kobe 5, Lakers away. That's a good one. Somebody has already gained sentimental value to this DSC dunk. That's oh, fair. okay. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so. He got game he got 13s, games. which I also so good. Those are sentimental love. Too. Shout out to yeah. Jesus yeah. Shuttlesworth. I was right. going to say, I remember <laughs> when he was little Miss Shuttlesworth. I remember those days. <laughs> Those yeah. were honestly that's still like my the name. first time is I seen yeah. it. On Instagram, that's still my name. I think I just see the J Shine. Yeah, oh, I just yeah. see yeah, J Shine. Yeah. On, on like my actual, the <laughs> actual profile. Like, oh, yeah. 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 It's just, I always remember. Jesus it. Shuttleworth? It, it says Janelle C. Shuttlesworth. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. And I love it. It's like my little alias. You yeah. Know? No one yeah. know my real last name. I that was like it. the first time I seen a Jordan on like motion picture. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Did it come out before? And not just a Jordan in general, but like. Like, I saw the current colorway of that mm-hmm. shoe when the oh, movie came out. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. That movie. Well, that's yeah. how it got dubbed that anyway. Like, yeah. Like, oh, those yeah. are new Jordans of this year. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. every year he had a new Jordan, you had to just wait to see the silhouette. Yeah. Right. And you, you saw it through that movie. Like, I remember when we went to go try them on, we had the ankle monitor on. Oh, yep. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Such a good movie. I haven't watched that in a while. I might have to watch I know, it me soon. too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Movie. That's a Spike Lee joint, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. The Ronnie Feig Total Eclipse. What's Asics? that? Jellix? The A6. Okay, yeah. I remember those. Yeah. That's like with the pink on it, right? And the blue? Oh, I, I don't know. Look. I I'm think not that too is. Familiar with that's the, the one that's like. That's when he was one. killing it. Yeah, that's oh, yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's when he was that nigga. So, yes. I know what the salmons look like. I do know that gel light, though. Yeah, you kind of made ASIC what it is right now. Yeah, yeah. agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Facts. Fair. Yeah. Um, wore my black cement threes when my daughter was born. Her middle name is oh, Jordan. That's, that's nice. That is nice. That's a nice little story. Jordan 5 Supreme. Simpler times when it was shit was different. It was if you know, you know type shit. No, no. everyone would have. <laughs> she was already <laughs> aired out by then. It was already it's aired out by then, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah. no. So no. Supreme's dropping any Jordan or sneaker. People I are going to know. I feel like the foams did that. The foams opened up. Oh, yeah. The window for them to do that, Jordan. Oh, yeah. Because when I, the Supreme. foams came I out, I was so this. like, yeah. I was tripping on that cloud. I'm like, y'all about to drop some Versace inspired. Yeah. yeah they really were kind of some shoes. Versace ass. Yeah, 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 like, they really were. Yeah. yeah, like, what the fuck? I love phones. What year did the 14s come out? Do y'all remember when the 14s came out, Supreme? The four- I still want those. The Jordan 14s? The, they had a the- Supreme Jordan 14. It, they had a white and was it the red pair like thing. The Ferrari pair came out? Or yeah, y'all remember that? that? Same time? I don't, yeah, actually. Okay, yes. I, 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 you might show me a picture. Mm hmm. They had a 14. Ferrari, 14. I do have that five. Though, they had a Supreme 14. Supreme five, and like someone, I remember like when I got it, it got it shortly after it came out, like round two, ended up getting a, a seven. And um, somebody like tried to tell me it was fake. They were like, they didn't come in that size. I was like, a seven? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, what? I don't remember when these came like, out. It'd be different oh. if it was like a five. Yeah, they come out. Let me see. Mm-hmm. What year was those? that? I like. Yeah. Oh, I like 14s. Yeah. I like That's 14s. a Supreme job. Yeah. Yeah. I wow. That. They look yeah. real simple for it to be. Supreme. I well, I've always been a 14 girl, so mm. like that's like my top okay. five of Jordans. Okay. Oh. So I've always wanted this like white and you know, like, I guess their bread color way with all the black, but mm. yeah. I had okay. a pair of last yeah, after shots. 13 and kind of trinkled off of me. No, I love 14, <laughs> and I love 17s <laughs> too. I love like I have few pair of 14s i do love 14s yeah. there was i don't have 15s but i i was there was always like a pair of 15s i did like and then maybe like one or two like 16s and maybe i have like, a 16 but yeah. the soul's crumbling i don't wear i it. do have the um what is it the 21 that all red oh, yeah, 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 yeah. i have yeah. that i love yeah. that you got one. yeah zero somewhere I don't have any dust here. I don't have any dust here. She was. I don't. She got the first ones, y'all. The the, the the ones with the the black black patent leather toe. You got Spizikes, too? Those blue ones. I I don't have any Spizikes, either. The Spizikes, Spizikes. actually, the Spizikes in the pan-African color were the best ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those were cool. They do not suck. I will give you that. I will give you that. There was a couple wild Spizikes, but yeah. 
Right, so no, the, the spin socks were out of pocket at one point. <laughs> like, that was a they were out of fucking because pocket. Like, the, like I said, people like the Pan African ones, and they kind of just spent yeah. off. Yeah. Dog. Went crazy, mad colors. Got, out of pocket. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a 17 girl, though. If we're being honest, that's why I'm excited about these 17s, like yeah. coming yeah. back. No, 16s like are cool. 16s, 16s yeah. are cool. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have any 16s, unfortunately, but. Yeah. That was a suitcase one, right? No, 17. 17. 17. Yeah. Seventeen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, they're going to retro some this year, which I'm excited about. I don't want to pay the money if it's going to be like 300 something dollars, but with like, the, I mean, with the case, feed me, please. You think it's going to still sure come with suitcase? Um, well, from what, when the last time I was in Portland for the buy, it looks like the suitcase is coming. Oh, wow. So. That's cool. I am excited, excited to see that. Too. I'm going to be really mad if it's like suitcases, like friends and family. No, it's not. Okay. Or so apparently box. it's yeah. a thing. So they're going to use this extended sizing. Instead okay. of like like breaking it down in GS, to my knowledge, mm -hmm. okay. because if you were to do GS, then you're not going to get the suitcase. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Because they're going to spend less money on those materials. Yeah. Yep. But apparently, yeah, we're going to get okay. It. Okay. Good we'll to the know. suitcase. I'm curious how much like marketing money they put up just making suitcases and no. That's one what I was yeah. thinking. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. they probably made thousands of pairs and had to give out metal suitcases. With. True. That's crazy. I good. keep my um, yeah. my roller skates. In oh, one of those suitcases. Cute. Oh, where? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. We had some at, at Mag, and I was like, can I just take this suitcase? Like, no, or a briefcase. Like, it, there's no shoe with it. Right. And you're like, okay. I was like, if I had a corporate job, I would carry that suitcase to work. <laughs> I would be like, <laughs> I mean business. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean business. <laughs> <laughs> I would literally go to work with that shit. Like, I put my laptop in that hoe. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, that's so is like that big, the no paper. Just uh, the uh, laptop. Laptop. Come on now, just, you okay. can put a thirteen inch Mac if you take out like out. the um the foam and shit. Right, right. Because there was like foam and shit in there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah there was. There I'm was. taking it to work. <laughs> I mean business. I <laughs> I need a job still. Hire me. Thank you. Uh, it me had too. Jordan logos on it too, right? It did. Yeah, yeah. it did. I'm dead. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The last few said, oh, one Another. person actually said a 14. Last yeah. pair gifted to me before my sister became an adult. And now I, I get, get socks. socks. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, we got a fragment one. Okay. Ugh. That must be nice for a that shoe to be sentimental to you, yeah. man. And then another Olympic seven. First shoe given to me by my goddad and started my love for sneakers Aww, in 04. That's cute. Still my favorite pair. Love it. That's nice. Thank you guys, as always, for You guys are always engaging and answering our questions. Yeah, I fuck with y'all. Thank you. Y'all ever want to ask us a question about something? We, yeah. are, we are also here as well. Free, feel free to DM us. Please. Okay. Yeah. No hate, though. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we don't play that yeah. shit. That We're not addressing part. any more of those comments. Yeah. All y'all getting blocked now. We we was letting <laughs> shit rock. You getting blocked. <laughs> Um, all right, well, thank you, Trey, yeah. for coming. Yeah, yeah thank you. We really appreciate it. This conversation Enjoyed you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. This yeah. conversation's sure. been nice. And you yeah. did. No, I mean, so you're a first male, on. too. That yeah. yeah. Was crazy. And it's yeah. important to us that we had women and men on yeah, the show. Yeah, we wanted mm -hmm. diversity. Like, it's super important to yeah. us. Yeah. And I I'm think you were a really good first male guest. Yeah. Like, yeah. They had, we had, like, big shoes to, like, fill Yeah. Yeah. Can you let the viewers know where they can find you as well? Uh, you can Handles. find me in Lemur Park every day. I'm at the shop. Um, <laughs> Period. 4344 Degnan Boulevard in Lemur Park. Neighbor Skate Shop. Nice. 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 You guys also on Instagram and stuff, yeah, too. Yeah, Instagram, uh, Cocky T on Instagram and Neighbor Skate Shop for the shop. Okay. Nice. okay. Yeah. And if you guys right. made it this far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If subscribe. you're watching on YouTube and if you're listening, also hit that subscribe button. I think there's one on there as well. Yeah. Yes. Um, and then don't forget to follow us on Instagram too at Sneaky Link Pod. Have we started po posting TikTok content? We haven't started we posting haven't yet. TikTok. Okay. But well, the Sneaker Con there. is this weekend. So oh, we're yeah. getting Find our TikTok sneaker con. content together. Yes. 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 We will be. Yes. So oh, catch us at we, Sneaker Yeah, con. we are. Catch them at Sneaker Con. Anaheim, same. Same year. Okay. Like same every year, yeah. Word. I wonder what that's going to be like. Um, interesting. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm Janelle. I am Elena. SK's mama. <laughs> and this is... Oh. Oh, and Trey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that's Trey. Trey. I thought that was like y'all. Oh, you're good. You're like, good. Like, well, this is Sneaky Link. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.